Good evening, everyone. How are we all doing tonight? Hopefully everyone's doing well. Got a few people in the stream already, so if you can just let me know what the audio is like. I did do a quick check, but I think it's always quite good. See who's about. <clears throat> Dobzy, hey buddy, how are you doing? Very pleased to have you here, I was getting a bit worried then, I thought I was going to be by my Todd. <laughs> I'm very glad, I'm very glad that you're here. Right, let's go, here, here we go, look, there I am. Hey, Dobzy, I'm so pleased, I'm so pleased. So, you ready for some Spawn CD-ROM? On my on on my, on my Todd McFarlane, Lottie, Lottie, genius, absolute genius. I love it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I was a bit worried actually. I was going to be on my Todd McFarlane, but no, it seems we're okay. We're not doing too bad. We've got a few people going. Whew, that's G that's G'd me up though. I was getting ever so worried otherwise. You're right. I do not. I was just hanging out on camera because I thought, oh, you know, stick this here. I keep looking up because I'm like I'm on the top screen so I keep looking up at myself because I can't not look at myself right here's the uh, PC it's been running the screensaver for a few minutes and I it's been running in my monitor just there for about 15 minutes now and it's super soothing just super chill just watching 3d pipes I feel I don't know if there's a visual version of ASMR, but that would be it for me. Just watching, just watching some pipes. All right. Anyway, it's enough of that. It's enough of those pipes. Now that we're going, now that we're starting, let's uh, let's crack on with a little bit of this Spawn CD-ROM. Yes, Josh is here. I'm so glad. Thank you, Josh. Thank you for turning up. Spawn Bros represent. Let's go. Absolutely loving it. Half of the full contingent of the Spawn Bros are here. And Lottie. Dobbs is getting the chains going in the chat. I'm absolutely loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Right. So, sometimes this has a funny way of running. So, fingers crossed, it's all going to be okay. Can you hear that? Actually, the volume on this is like 10%, so if you tell me if it's a bit quiet. Oh, look at this. You might hear the audio lag a little bit because emulating Windows is difficult. So it's not, it's rarely perfect. So sometimes you might hear it crackle or kind of lag a little, but it's just par for the course. Part of the enjoyment is the music. I'm going to turn it up a bit because I'm a bit, I'm a bit nervous. You might not be able to hear it as well as I can. How about that? Ooh. Yeah, I'm loving it. It's like uh, some Michael Jackson kind of vibes going on. Mind you, mid-90s, it would be like that era, right? Right. Spawn Bros. 
Where do we think we're going to go first? I feel like the best place to start is the collection because this is where all the toys are. So we'll drop in here first. We'll have a quick look looky loo. See what's going on. Well, it loads up. I don't think this. I don't think this is actually anything. I think this is like fake. I think you can just skip it. But you want to get the full spawn experience. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Mmm. Ham and eggs. <laughs> Loving it. This is. Imagine when I made the video on this. This. Just imagine me in my room doing this by myself. Because that's exactly what happened. It's just me just vibing to my CD ROM. Hear that? Like, wah, wah, wah. that's weird. Oh, Josh knows. Josh knows. That's a Yamaha DX7 if I ever heard one. Sure. Perhaps, perhaps we've all heard one. You can recognise it. Anyway, what a great opener. Spawn. Series 1, figure 1. Absolutely love it. As I covered before. Is the volume good, by the way? It's, it's actually pretty loud in my ears. So I'm hoping that you can still hear me. But also the volume is pretty important. So it needs to be up there. But yeah, as I mentioned, uh, when you install this, it does assume that your PC is Japanese. So it, this would presumably be displaying Hiragana, Katagana. I can't remember which one's which, but probably the more whatever the more modern one is. I imagine is what it would be displaying here. Um, but because I don't have that language pack, it just displays garbled nonsense. And on like newer versions of Windows, you can just download a language pack but you couldn't really do that on Windows 95 it's like you needed the in the actual Japanese release so installing a Japanese version of Windows just seemed like a step too far for spawn timber I figured this would be enough and we can just kind of you know this probably just says spawn is a cool figure look how cool he is look at his cape and look at those sweet chains and don't forget the spikes and also a plank of wood with that yellow nail in it I'm assuming that's what it says Anyway, oh my god, look, there's an option to turn the sound off. Why would you... Why would that even be an option? Why would you not want the sound? It sounds, it sounds amazing. So, yeah. I feel like that might even be... <laughs> also, Wonder! Yeah, I'm not even going to try and do a Keith David impression. That's that's my spawn voice, voice actor uh, audition there. So yeah, so what we can do, I think this button, oh, I think this is a series one drop down of all the figures that are in series one, and we can skip to them. Mind you, that seems like a lot, so it probably isn't that, right? But this button here skips between series, and then this button skips between the figures. So let's just see, let's just see the next one, ah, oh, the, the best the best medieval spawn the first medieval spawn figure mm, 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 mm. not to give you any spoilers but I, I'm currently working on a video about spawn action figures and this one's a this one's a banger this one is a straight banger I love old tremor Do you know the funny thing is right so here's the cool thing about this you can view all the repaints because there's a green yeah there you go there's a green repaint and this to me this is the canon Tremor, even though he's orange in the comics, like this is just, I must have just seen this more because this to me is what Tremor looks like, he's green. Oh, it's like that, it's cool. There was every single spawn figure came with a repaint when they reissued the figure, they did it in the second color. And uh, they did this because those who bought the figures first of all would always get the original figure. And then if you didn't get it first of all, so you had to go and get like the re-release or like the second wave, then they would recolor it so that you'd still get something special. So you may not have got like the first like brown tremor, but you got the green tremor because so it's like Todd had this idea of like obviously variants and stuff were so cool and, and they were doing good 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 kind of business in the comics world. But this was Todd's idea that if you missed out, you'd still get something cool. Which I always know. Like 
Tremors underrated, says Josh. Sylvestri design? Yeah, probably. Like we were saying, like <laughs> everybody else did all the cool stuff with Spawn. <laughs> but I mean, that's cool. Um, we were just chatting about Mark Sylvestri the other night, right? Creator of the Darkness and Witchblade and all that good stuff. Yeah, whatever not. So Limited is going to be gold, right? Because there's every figure in Series 1 had a gold version. And I just... Oh, man, they're so cool. I'm just going to say, I don't know if these are, like, Japanese only, but I've seen, even on, like, eBay, I've only ever seen, like, a gold Angela. Maybe, like, a... Maybe a gold Violator? That's it. I think that's all I've ever seen. So these have to be Japanese exclusives. Bangers. Yes, look, here he is, the lad. The bendy boy. Gucci, Gucci. There he is. This is a great toy. Any bendies, any bendies. Winners in my book. Absolute winners. Where's the repaint? How come it doesn't show? Is it going to be just the gold one? Oh, there you go. There's the limited edition red one. So I think that was mail away. There was a mail out, mail away red. But there's also a black one as well, which I've seen, which is like presumably rare. I don't know. Um, and there is definitely a. Th I'm pr I'm certain there's a gold one as well. But yeah, wicked. This this fella. This is a good one because the variant is just his head. Oh, there's the gold one. So yeah, the the clown head. Obviously, the the toy mechanism is his head switches like a Ghostbuster, and he's got a demon head underneath. And then when they did the second packaging, they just flipped the head. So it's not even a repaint. They just flipped the head around inside the packaging. Good guy. Here he goes, Josh's toy. One of the r rare photographs of uh, an overt kill with its head not automatically popped out because the spring broke. That's did the others have that? Why Why would the overt kill his trademark? To your man, Corey. <laughs> Corey, right? Todd McFarlane Productions and Corporation and Rob Liefeld. Is that a Rob Liefeld design? What a, what a, what a place to work. Imagine just working an image in the night. There it is. Look, it's already, his head's already out in, in the packaging. Um, what, a, what a time and a place though. All those people all under one roof. What a wicked thing. Oh, mate, Spawn Alley. That's the one. So good. What happened to play sets, huh? They never did enough play sets. I think I think this is an underrated thing. I'm gonna try and top three action figure play sets that you had as a kid. Or yeah, fine, that you had as kids or have seen in the years since. Because like, yeah, Castle Grayskull, that was fine with He-Man. Was never really my bag, but a mate of mine had it. It was just a big vacuum like vacuum sealed skull. But of note. I think, oh, the Ghostbusters Firehouse, that was that was really good. Uh, the Biker Mice and Mars scoreboard hideout, that was that was pretty good because it had like stuff you could do, play features and so on. Uh, and was there a Turtles sewer? I remember it being small. I don't remember it being very big. Dobzy, you'd know. You've you've got a you, you'd know what's what. Dobzy, tell me about um, the Turtles lair. Dude, you got to see Lifewood McFarlane Stan Lee designing Overt Kill in real time. Oh, I've seen that video. The kids love chains. The kids love chains. Yeah, iconic, man. Iconic. Studio Light says, I had some sick G3 My Little Pony play sets that I regret moving on. Ooh, interesting to hear you say that because I don't think you'd have divulged that to me. Um, but you did have some really sick G3 My Little Pony play sets. My personal favourite is Butterfly Island because it sang music when you push that little button and you could make the ponies fly around on it, which is great. But they, see, that was one thing the ponies did really well. They had lots of those little, didn't they, like little shops. It was like a little confectioner's and a little shoe shop and like all little things. Play sets, underrated. Spawn Alley, this actually looks pretty good. If that's a real like garbage can and a bird, Another garbage can on the roof. Good. Look at all these things. All these things. I'm hoping they're all play features. I hope this, the spawn alley wall breaks, doesn't it? So you can like drive the spawn mobile into it. Brilliant. Absolutely. Speaking of, what? Look at that. It's Todd McFarlane's actual car, isn't it? He actually had a real spawn mobile made, which I love because 
Comic fans in the chat, did Spawn ever drive the Spawn Mobile in the comics? Because <laughs> I, I don't know, but I'm going to guess no. I'm going to guess he did not ever drive the Spawn Mobile. And I don't know why. He's got the snow chains on and the flames. He's got a, it's an all it's an all weathers car, all weathers vehicle. <laughs> Seatbelt chains. <laughs> Imagine Spawn's doing doing 90 on the motorway and then bang in he goes to the central reservation and the chains just cutting into you. Whoa. No Spawn fans have ever actually read the comics, so we don't know. That's a fact. That's a fact. Um, the Spawn Bros, probably the world's premier Spawn fan group, never read the comics, with the single exception of Matt Draper, the world's greatest Spawn fan. But hey, NBD. I was going to say the next one's going to be the Monster Rig. See, I, I really like this vehicle, but also... Like, Violet is a giant bendy toy. There's no way he's getting in that. I can see that that there, right? That lifts up and figures go in it, right? But what figures? I bet no figures fit in that. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, look, we can use... Oh, there we go. Shut my mouth. It's actually... Do you know what? That's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. That's much bigger than... I reckon that's... That's got to be like that, right? Because Violet is a big toy. Hey, that's good, that, isn't it? I love the ribs on the top. Do the missiles look... Oh, it comes... And the ribs come off? Oh, it's a cage. Look, you can put spawn in it. It's a cage. Great. There's a jaw. Oh, that's a winner, that. And a missile on a string? Violator Monster Rig. Yeah, that's great. That is. Oh, now that I know what that button does, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. Yeah, buddy. Oh man. Yes. Oh, that's a. That's weird. That's a weird thing to have on the back of a car. Very. Oh. Yeah. The spoiler like fires the. Yeah. The spawn logo. Brilliant. Yeah, we like that. We like that a lot. Command this is a real shame. I think the first commando spawn is such an ugly looking figure. <laughs> he's so awkwardly posed. Hey, he's got a cute little knife though. And th and these really adorable little basketball shoes. And there's a green. Ooh. Gold weapons. Is that the variant? Gold weapons. There was a green commando spawn. Is that yeah, there he is. So is that a black is that, is that a black violator? Or like a very dark red? And he comes with it. Yeah, there's a green commando spawn in there. Very sweet. Ah, uh, there she is. There's the girl, Neil Gaiman. Who designed Angela? Anyone, anyone know? You might say somewhere. Ooh, ooh. Is that the variant? The red, the red colourway is cool. It's kind of spawnish. Yeah, there you go. That's I've seen that. I think I might have even seen that in real life. Josh, did we see this when we were at Toy Fair one time? I think we saw a gold, some kind of gold spawn. Oh yes, this clear one's awesome. This is definitely, this is like the this violet thingy back here. The clear. I'm pretty sure the clear Angela came with a VHS tape of the HBO Spawn cartoon, which is just. Wicked, just absolutely wicked. Oh, look, we've moved. I didn't realize we've moved into series two. We've moved into series. Oh, this is quite cool. So it means we can just slowly work our way up through. Look at look at male bulge. That's a huge toy, as well, isn't it? Is this the one they just use for the adult swim animations? Yeah, that's a huge toy. You just look at it, you just know that thing. It's gonna be like that, right? It's absolutely enormous. Pretty well articulated though, for a, for a big old toy. Series two, so what's that going to be? Ninety five, something like that. I think the first wasn't the first series ninety four. I think something like that. Yes. Oh, we didn't we didn't go through all the pictures. Let's go through all the pictures. I want to see the variant. Gimmick? Did he have like firing? 
Where are they? Oh, now we're photographing the gimmicks. I'm loving that. Oh, is it just? Does it just come with them? Fine. Oh, the variant seems to be some sort of burnt hamburger meat. Color. Whoa, whoa. That's that's a medieval spawn in spawn colours. <gasps> Damn. I'm gonna. That's a sick looking toy. That's even better than the medieval spawn that comes on the horse. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me, we need to go back and find the medieval spawn that comes on the horse. Is that in here? We need to find him. What's this? Is this the little chain from his waist and they've just put it in his hand? That's not a gimmick. That You've just broken the toy. That That's the gimmick, the spinning shield. I've got it right there. I've got it right there, I could get it. Yeah, I'm going to get it. Give me a sec. It wouldn't be Spawn Timber if we weren't looking at Spawn figures. Lottie says I love I love how low key the pictures are. Do you mean the quality of the pictures? Because yeah, they're for the time this is really I I imagine very sophisticated technology. I, I don't think even digital cameras existed, right? So this was a Photograph taken with a film camera, took it to the Photoshop, took it down the Kodak, <laughs> got it, got 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 them all made up, got the photos printed, took them back to the studio, scanned them in, I'm gonna guess, and then then put them into this Macromedia CD-ROM software. So I, <laughs> I imagine there was a lot of effort, and uh, they end up looking quite funny. But yeah, look, here you go, here's mine, here's my little fella. Look at that, what a gimmick, eh? It'd be good if I could get it to land right on the Swan logo. Anyway, I've got the screensaver. So this is probably the best toy from Series 1, I think. Anyway, we were looking for the horsey. Yeah, look at that one. OMG, that is a grail. That's a grail. I'm going to click that. I don't know what it does, so I'm just going to click that. I feel like that that's me saying I want this one. I've never actually seen this regular spawn colorway of medieval spawn, but Josh, if you're watching, Christmas is coming up, mate. I'd like that. I'd like that, please. <laughs> Ooh, what's that one? Is that the same figure but just spikier? No, it's just different card back. I don't mind which card back. I'll be honest. This one. Ooh, pewter edition. Nice. Oh my god, gold. To be fair, I would very much like that gold one. Oh, so that's interesting. So maybe the horse will be like later on. We've had a look at Malvolgia. Now, look at this. They're such a sick toy. Chapel's such a cool character. Who invented Chapel? Is that Liefeld? Yeah, yeah, because Chapel's from uh, Youngblood, right? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Does it say? Yeah, it says there. There's me looking clever. I could have just read. <laughs> right, let's go. Nice. I love his skull face. Absolutely fantastic. Gimmick. He just holds a gun. I oh, is it the rocket pack? Is it is it the backpack? Or is it the bandolier? That's quite cool. It's got like a separate bandolier. Hmm. I wouldn't go so far and say that's a gimmick, but... So what... Oh, is there like a battle damaged face and unpainted weapons I'm not sure if that's that good a gimmick mate hey who knew that who knew that the packaging pa packaging for this toy said it's from Li Rob Liefeld's Youngblood that's that's pretty cool actually to be honest yeah pretty good yeah no good oh yeah bad rock that's definitely another that's definitely another um young blood character in it. That's a really cool looking figure. I'm going to assume that those uh yeah, the cor the Cory right. Lottie, that's like not even the first time I've seen that. I I think again, being that this is made by people in Japan, English isn't their first language. There's a really good chance they copied they literally like were given a sheet of paper and they typed it out because I don't think even 
copying and pasting and that kind of stuff and sending stuff in an email that might not even have been the standard at the time so there's every chance they type that out and then nearly every image has quarry right written on it which probably invalidates it right that means we can just keep these images for ourselves put them on t-shirts nothing anyone can do those young blood figures kind of rule yeah i agree well we're going to get onto wet works in a bit wills portacio's wet works and they really rule because every single figure is gold which is oh hold on opening shoulder mounted cannons yeah this figure's sick look at the size of them slightly different sculpts that's cool oh the variation has scorch mark scorch marked paint jobs Ooh, I like the red and gold Iron Man deco. Yeah, loving that. I might like that even. Yeah, I might like that better. Oh, here we go. This pilot. This is pilot spawn, isn't it? Yeah. This is when they were like, we've done spawn. We've done spawn as a commando because that was in the comics. We've done medieval spawn because that was in the comics, and then they started saying, what else could spawn be? And I think this is one of the true, this is actually the real value of Spawn, is that, and it is toys, it's all about the toys. It's just exploring the creative possibilities of Spawn, like, can he be a pilot? Can he be a werewolf? Can he be a dinosaur? And just going, what would that look like? And then just making it. There didn't even need to be a comic to base it on, they were just like, we'll just, we'll just make it. Here's Spawn as a pilot. And it's a really cool figure, and I think the, there's a white variant of this, which I think is by far the more common. And now I'm looking at it, I actually realise that the body, the legs and the arms are absolutely the same spawn legs and arms. The torso and head are different. They're clever, eh? Maybe that leg's different, because that knife thing, but that's... That's economical. I don't think they actually changed an awful lot. Yeah, there you go. That's the one. I've seen this one loads way more than the than the kind of regular spawn deco this white one which i think looks weird i'm not sure how spawn works like an all-in white leotard it's horn anyway isn't it <laughs> yeah gold love it i've definitely seen that i've seen gold pilot spawn that's when i've seen like kicking around on ebay jeff spawn says dobsy now that would be a welcome addition to the Jeff collection my collection of Jeff Goldblum action figures would a, a spawn Jeff maybe I should commission a custom anyone in the chat do a custom action figures sort me out so spawn 2 is one of my least favorite spawn figures and it's like really complex reasons to why because it's a really nicely articulated figure it's really nicely sculpted but I don't like the split face it's got like a half spawn head half hamburger head in spawn series one they did variants of that figure they did the spawn with the normal mask and they did spawn like unmasked uh what the what people at the time called the, the hamburger head with like the boot lace and then for spawn two they didn't do that they just he had both at the same time and that that may have appeared in the comic i wouldn't know <laughs> like all like all good spawn fans i've not read it um but I just, something about the split, I don't know, just, just, just never flew for me. It wasn't for me, but that's all right. But I do like the, the big opening cape. Spawn 3, which is coming up later, had an even more impressive opening cape, which is awesome. Oh, that is some posture, that, isn't it? This is one thing I've noticed about a lot of Spawn figures. They all have, like, really bad posture. Like, they all lean forward a lot and... Just like me when I stream, actually, is now when I realise my, how bad my posture is. That's better. We should sit like this. <sighs> That's actually a lot better on my lower back, so we'll do that from now on. Love those giant guns, though. Yeah, loving that. Oh, I quite like the Articulated Violator. That's a, that's a good, I think, a good follow-up. It's not as good as Bendy, but it had the robot version, which is... Really, oh, that one's gross. Uh. Oh, it looks like E.T. when he gets poorly. You know, when, he, when he's in the river and he gets all sort of pale and sort of flowery. Uh, no. But yeah, the robot... Yeah, this is a great one. This is um, Vertebraker. 
I think. Is this one vertebrate? No, it's not. Uh, I can't remember which one this one's called. Maybe this one, it, maybe it is, but anyway. Great one. Yeah, it is. There you go, Vertebraker. I have the black and white variant of this. This this colorway is excellent. This paint job's really, really cool. I love all the... Look at that. Like, it's it's such it's a, such a weird figure as well. Like, its legs stick out in front like that, and it has these re rear legs, and you can't really do much with it. It looks wicked on a shelf, because it just looks absolutely terrifying. But as a toy, it is so difficult. That's the one I have. It's so difficult to actually play with it because it's just so weird. Hey, here we go. This uh, this was called Anti Spawn. Oh, he was called. Was it in the comic? He was called Anti Spawn, and then by the time they did the toy, they'd named him Redeemer. Apparently, Todd wanted the figure to be articulated and like light up, have this light up gimmick. And they couldn't figure the technology out, so we had to compromise. And uh, it's a, a solid single piece arm with the light up. But the light up gimmick, that's cool. I'm all about toy gimmicks. I really think that's Im it's important. Because I think, especially in toys, like gimmicks are pretty much like, otherwise it's just a thing, isn't it? And I think gimmicks really help to separate them out. Someone commented on my Transformers video. I made a video about Transformers Armada, and I was talking about how good it was, because it was just full of gimmicks. Things that open up, things that go inside other things, and things that connect together, lights and clear stuff, and just all kinds of wicked. Just exploring all of the gimmicks, everything you could possibly fit into one toy. And someone commented saying, gimmicks were the worst thing about this toy line. And I'm like, well, without them, there would just be robots. Like, that's cool, but that's all there would be. There would just be robots or cars. Like, the gimmick is really what makes them what they are. Ooh, is that the... Th is that what's underneath his cape? Is that what his back has to look like? Oh wow, that one's cool. See, that works. Redeemer all in white with purple. That looks really cool. He looks very regal with the purple and the gold there. Loving that, actually. C curse? Yeah. Super suit dude, right? Oh, with a 90s beard. That's how I looked when I started this YouTube channel. I had the Curse's beard. If only I had that sweet chainsaw arm. No other YouTubers have messed with me then. Right, Cosmic Angela. This is quite. This has got a good. Oh yeah, brushable hair. Love it. Love that. McFarlane did a good job. Lottie and I were talking about this. McFarlane did a good job of having, a, like, a surprisingly high number of girls in the storyline. Not at first, but it got there in the end. They started bringing in like. Widowmaker and all these like other random angels and demon characters. Uh, well, who's the Amazon? Tiffany. Loads of loads of girls eventually, and they're all really cool. Like, this is a little too sexy. I think I think this is a bit too like fourteen-year-old boy kind of vibes. Is that clear? No. But um, later on, they you know they got really cool. Oh, look, that's is this like mutant spawn or something? Right. This is such a creepy future spawn. Oh god, it opens up and there's this horrible hamburger meat on the inside. With a face on it. Oh my gosh. Look at the variant. Wow, eee. That's... Yeah, this is a good one. They did, they, they just did this one again, didn't they? Old ninja spawn. Loving that. Oh, by the way, if you guys are having a beverage tonight, I'm on uh, Sharp's Atlantic Pale Ale. Recently he went to Cornwall, drank a bit of uh, Sharps' new beer and has kind of been vibing on it since. Been a long time fan of Doom Bar, but since I moved to the southwest, Doom Bar doesn't feel as exotic to me anymore. So, Ninja Spawn's a good one. This is an like interesting thing, I was just thinking these Ninja Stars. Turtles came with Ninja Stars back in the day and it always... Can't fit them in their hands. <laughs> They just you just have to hold them. So I was oh wow look at that nunchucks ooh. Wait a second, do we need to redraw all of the Ninja Turtles as if they were Spawn? Is that going to be the Spawn Timber art stream? I think I might have just come up with that. That would be brilliant. Hey Silver's here. Hey Silver, 
I often think about how Lady Armour is just a metal bikini. But then I remember that He-Man's armour is a speedo and some rockin' pecs. And then finishing with SPAWN TURTLES! Um, yeah, I mean the metal bikini thing is bad, isn't it? Because if you think about the shape of a bikini, like... The, the middle bit, when it comes... you just now got a big metal sort of thing against your chest, like against your sternum. If you fell over, it would just... I, I imagine, anyway, I've not worn a metal bikini, but I can't imagine that it's any good. But that's true. He-Man didn't even have armour. Just had some pants. See what I mean? Spawn doesn't work in white. I think about... I think Spawn in white is what Josh thinks about technology in white. You know? Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Here we go. Battle horse. Here's the horsey. I knew there was a medieval spawn who had a battle horse. That Look at the... <laughs> that is a very silly looking armor deco I think this horse looks so cool though <laughs> does it have it yeah it's got a catapult if I remember I've seen this at nerd base spawn battle horse it's, it's so good because they couldn't even think of a good name they were yeah you know, they because Todd was always coming up with names for stuff they could have given this like a silly actual name but they were like well it's a horse that battles so mind you I suppose it's no worse than battle cat is it from he-man so maybe I'm the idiot um, I've already, seconds after ridiculing this, I now think that that Medieval Spawn Deco is brilliant. <laughs> I've completely 180 on it. Look at it. I think the mask could be inverted. It should be a black head with a silver mask. But everything else, look at this Colossus style, like the, the banded fleshy armour. Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving that. That is wicked. Josh says, yep, going to need that spawn turtle stream. Okay, well, we've got a month, so perhaps I can squeeze in at the end of the month because that's going to be a challenge. I'll need to do some preparation for that. I like this air speeder that pilot spawn came with. Air cycle. Yeah, good. Nice little guy. Yep. Oh, now that... Now that's a vehicle. That's a vehicle befitting... Violator. Does it even have handlebars? Does he need them? Does he just hold on to that? Oh, that sort of handlebars. That is so cool. I bet a lot of other figures could fit on that. That looks like it'd be kind of like six. Ooh, wait a second. Do my eyes deceive me? Is that a smaller, smaller Violator that came with the bike? Or is that a much bigger Violator that came with the bike? Ooh, can someone Google what what's the deal? Is he is he much much bigger, or is he much smaller? Hey, this one's a good one. This one's a good one. E Exo armor. This is a good one. Exoskeleton. Yeah, this is good. the The idea of this is spawn when spawn goes to hell. He like wants a disguise. <laughs> So like all the de so he can like sneak behind enemy lines, I guess. And so he ends up wearing he finds like a skeleton of a violator, you know, a what are they called? The Flebiac demons. He finds like the, the the remains of one and he do and he dons it as armor. And I I just think that's just brilliant. It's like stealth spawn. <laughs> and the, this white variant is pretty good. It's not great, but it's pretty good. This one, this one though, I love this toy. This salmon and lime green colour variant is so ghastly, you can't not love it. Because what even disguise would that be? Like, it's wild to me. It's wild that they were like, this is the limited edition. Because I guess they'd say, is this going to be like necroplasm? And for some reason, Spawn's just salmon. Yeah, love it. Just love everything about that. She Spawn's a good figure. It's a really good figure. I really like this one. Really early... You know, again, like quite early on in the in the days, but another lady. Uh, this is before, like Jessica Priest. I think this is just reimagining Spawn as a lady. Got a wicked launching rocket launcher. Got these these gnarly like mall ninja swords. Fantastic clip on boot, which I think is really cool. Yes, you can see those without the boot, and and re and real brushable hair. 
because it's a it's a girl, so she's got to have real brushable hair. Absolutely wicked. And there was a spawn, yeah. There is a spawn color deco. Yeah, fantastic. Love that one. That's a highlight for me. Oh yes, look at Sigel. That's better than the comic book. Looking at this though, I don't see any articulation. This is just a really big five point five point of articulation figure, isn't it? Ooh, gold though. I'm. S oh, I quite like that. That looks quite good, like the white version. Uh, the rocket launch is cool. We like that. Battle clown. <laughs> yeah. Oh, clown too. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Battle clown would have been a good name. I like all the guns. He has a face on his arm. Oh. Yeah. Glowing. Probably hellfire. I'd say. Uh, Silver says, whoever came up with the concept of toy colour variants was a genius. Well, do you know what? Do you know who came up with that? It was probably Todd McFarlane. Um, did mention earlier in the stream that the colour variants was like, from the beginning, this was part of Todd's idea, was to have variants. He says it was so that everybody could get something, and like, you wouldn't have to, you know, if you came to the toy line, like, a couple of months late, and like, the toys had sold out, when they reissued it, they'd do a new colour version. Um, so that everybody could get something, but I think actually what he did, whether he intended to or not, what he accidentally did is he created that kind of fan who then goes, well, I need all four variants. I need to have all, I can't just have one, I need all of them. Um, because some of the variants are so cool. I love them. Silver says, I need some guys with real brushable hair, but it's like chest hair or it's hair from unspeakable places. I feel like that would fit well with some of these characters. Ooh. Real brushable chest hair. That's got to exist. There's got to be a toy that's got hair other than on the head. Like there's fuzz. You can get, you know, like like Moss Man in um, in He Man. And there was also like that. What was that really furry dude in He Man? He's like covered in hair apart, apart from his face. He's got it all over his body. He's like a big big kind of monkey dude. That was a good figure. But getting vintage figures with hair that it is often manky. So you got to watch that. Yeah, I like this. I like the robot. I, I do quite like the robot um, violator. I think that's a cool figure. Is there a good good variant of this one? I feel like that could be like gold or something. Grizzlaw. Grizzlaw. Says Josh. Thank you for the save. That's exactly correct. Well done. Yeah, there you go. He was a good guy. He was a good guy. I'm trying to think. Of, there was a. There's definitely other fu fuzzy ones. But I remember Mossman because Mossman stunk. Right. He had uh, patchouli oil. Mixed in with the fuzz so that he actually smelt like a swamp. Now that's a gimmick. That's a gimmick. I really like the Max. I don't know if you ever saw the cartoon. It's really cool. It's really fun. And I mean, it's just such a cool thing to have as part of the Spawn series. Because he wasn't in Spawn. It's just some other random stuff just coming out at the same time. Which I just think is wicked. Look at those big feet. That's brilliant. Those big, big stompers. Silver says Moss Man is awful to play with. Speaking from experience, are you speaking about because because of the smell? Is that why? Because it is a, it is a stinky boy. He is a stinky boy. So the variants of this was just these little fellas. And I remember what they're called. They did a bag. Is is is? I want to say is is. Something like that. They did a bag of them. It was like a thing you could buy a bag. Of these little fellas. Hey, Daily Spawn Archive is here. It says life like hair on clown's belly. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's what we need. Is that a thing that exists? Hey, look at this. Here's another Shadowhawk. More. This is so series four of Spawn was obviously just my my pals, just giving my pals some figures based on their stuff, which we love to see. This, uh, this is actually a sick toy. Shadowhawk is the best. Just, what if Wolverine was a robot? And a bird? <laughs> Ooh, and also kind of naked. I think this might be copper. That's a really cool deco, to be honest. Anyway, welcome to the stream, Daily Spawn Arco. Thanks very much for joining. Fellow Spawn Timber celebrator. Very pleased to have you here. Very pleased to have someone here who actually is a fan of Spawn. Rather than me, the fake fan. 
This, so I just want to say now, Nuclear Spawn, this is actually one of my all-time favourite Spawn figures. I think this is one of the coolest figures. I think it's great. Especially, I really like the green skin version. Because in my head canon, I feel like this is a rejected Ninja Turtles figure. Like it just has such Ninja Turtles energy to it. Like all the weird gross detailing and all the weird asymmetry and the, the bright colours. It just has that Toxic Crusaders Turtles vibe and, and I'm here for it. I feel like Spawn and Turtles should have crossed over by now. And, it, and, and they are going to at the end of the month. You heard it here first. Ooh, this is, is this Viking spawn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like one of the first historical variants. We did Ninja, right? Ninja's already been and gone. Silver says, the fuzzy texture on Moss Man does not fill my cup of tea. It's an awful feeling. Fair enough. I can imagine that would be one of those um, that could like really trigger a, like a, a repulsive reaction i so, car upholstery sometimes like old-fashioned car upholstery the one that's kind of like carpety that actually puts my teeth on edge when i touch it hey it takes all sorts it takes all sorts panel says uh, cool sparkly gun yeah on the nuclear spawn yeah i love i love a bit of glitter a bit of glitter in the plastic that's always good this is an all right one i think this was actually i feel like this actually was a comic book this was mentioned didn't a kid wasn't the first Viking spawn invented by a kid? They like wrote in. I, I feel like I've either invented this or I'm inventing it right now. A kid wrote in and said, "Oh, I've got a really cool idea for spawn. How about if spawn was a Viking?" And then there was just Todd just wrote a one shot to like maybe it was a competition or something. But there was a one shot about this. I think spawn archival. No, if only Matt Draper was here. If only Matt Draper was here. So here we go, Spawn Arco says there's actually a Spawn versus TMNT sample page from the 90s that got an artist to work on Image Comics Ninja Turtles run. There, so I did see that that's Wills Portacio's uh, Turtles run, isn't it? And I think Spawn is drawn in it because there's like a big event where like, I don't know, the Krang invade New York and they just draw everybody in there. So like Savage Dragons in it and Spawn's in it. So I know the Turtles and Spawn have like shared comic book pages together. But I think that's more of a, like a, you know, like somebody sat down in the pod racing scene in Star Wars. It doesn't really mean it's sort of like a canon event. It's more just, wouldn't it be fun if we just had E.T. in the Senate or whatever? Um, so, uh, oh, that's very cool. So if there's actually like proper art of them, that would be, that would be really cool. Oh, look at this. Is, is this Overt Kill 2? Look at this sculpting. That is awesome. One thing which McFarlane did from the mid-90s to the early 2000s was this pin wash. All of this sculpted detail on the plastic, they just did, a, did this like acrylic wash over the figures and it just... This pop shield doesn't work very well, but it pops. And... Uh, they stopped doing it in some of the more recent figures and it's such a shame because it just sells all that surface detail so well. Oh, I'm love that is a great toy. Ah, oh, drill hand. Love it. Oh, absolutely ghastly colour variant. Zombie flesh is pretty good. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. That's awesome. Yay, tremor with the pumpy pumper. Wait a second, that is literally an RJ45 telephone cable. Or is that like a Cat6 Ethernet? <laughs> that is that is literally just Cat6. That's a really great figure though. That reminds me, the pumpy thing on the top there reminds me in the in the early 1990s Transformers in Europe did a line of of Transformer cars called the Aqua Speeders. And then they came out in the States a year later as, I want to say, part of Generation 2. But they were colour-changing cars. So they had that that thing that was very popular at the time, like global hyper-colour. So the colour of the car would change if you ran hot or cold water over it. And then they had these squeezy 
um, ves um, vessels on the top so you could suck water up and then you could squirt water out the front of the cars so you could like battle the cars squirt water on each other and it would change the color of the cars depending on if you're using cold or hot and a toy gimmick i love a toy gimmick and this is wicked so this is just pumping guts and blood around him right which makes me think 30 years later this is gonna be dried up in it this isn't gonna work because this is just gonna be dried brown schlop in the tubes oh the purple one's even cooler with green clear green clear green I love me some clear green stuff <laughs> silver says ew I didn't even think what well, you didn't think about the dried up schlop you didn't think about the horrible crusty yeah this is wi Widowmaker this is such a cool toy and like I was saying earlier right now this to me is a small victory because for the time period this is a toy that's been released for teenagers arguably not necessarily kids and I would say that that is a relatively modest outfit because there would have been every temptation to give her a witchblade style outfit and I feel like they really did a good job of skirting the sexiness in these figures because it isn't entirely necessary and she looks absolutely badass she looks wicked that's a really cool toy we were in nerd base a, a year or two ago and Lottie was looking this figure up and I was in my heart I was like please buy this toy it's so cool <laughs> and she's like oh, I might get it and I was like oh yeah maybe do maybe you should and I was just like, really hoping she'd buy it she didn't but you know it's NBD it's just because I didn't want to suggest she bought it you know I wanted to, I didn't want to like press ganger into buying a spawn toy Silver says, I'd love to see someone else dissect a toy like that to see what happened to the inside of the uh, of these unboxed toys with the fluid. So it's even unboxed, I reckon. Even unboxed. Or boxed, even like sealed. I reckon it just would have dried up. Because I highly doubt it's going to be like a completely closed system. So it would just be... Because it's a toy as well. Like it's not going to be designed to last forever. Like so many of these toys just break over... And the plastic they made from perishes and so on. So I just feel like it wouldn't have even been designed with any longevity. So if it didn't leak and squeeze out everywhere, eventually it just would have dried up in there. But what you probably could do, you could probably clean it out, put your own fluid in there. Feels like the kind of thing um, Toy Poloi would do. This one here, uh, this is Battleclad Spawn. This is another one of my all-time favorites. It's a little spawn figure, like a fleshy, yeah, and then you clip the spawn armor on him. So yeah, underneath he's just like flayed. It just looks like you know skinless flesh, which is just horrid, which is great. And then yeah, you clip all the clip all the armor onto the outside of him. I just think that's absolutely wicked. Yeah, and there's a quite quite a cool white variant, but the the kind of classic spawn deco is just super wicked. I love that. One of the best. One of the all-time best. Daily Spawn Arco says, Battleclad Spawn figure kind of resembles the film suit. It does. It, it does have that same vibe. But at this point, actually, I don't think we were far off from the film. This must have been, if there was one series a year, this would have been around about the same time, right? I think there was actually two two or three toy, figure, toy series a year, but I reckon that would have been around the time, though. Panel says, I think there are ways of rehydrating toys like that. I've seen people do it with old mosquitoes, if I remember correctly. Well, I, I bet it's possible. The amount of stuff I figured out how to do for my old Transformers when things stopped working. You know, like, or people using, like, yeah, all kinds of weird, weird random hacks and things to get stuff working again. It'd be a cool thing to do, wouldn't it? Get one that was all dried up. I remember, you know, the ones that had sparks inside. You can get like new, you can use like lighter flints and stuff for those. So they kind of, because it is essentially like a lighter flint. So it's the same technology, so you can just use the same the same parts. This is the first alien spawn. And it's it's a bit like Saigor. It's, it's a big chonky lad, isn't it? Oh, what is this? Is this alien spawn? Mutant spawn. Oh, all of a sudden I've changed my mind. It's got clear green wings. Now I like it. Oh, it's like a transformer. Oh, 
All right. I could be convinced. That horrible head coming out. Are these bendy as well? Wait, are these bent? Is it combining bendy limbs and clear green? Oh, okay. Oh, well, we might have something on the list now. Very interesting. Oh, this is a nice one. Is this another Angela? No, this is Tiffany the Amazon. That's a cool outfit. Look at her gun. Is that the first? Oh, apart from Commando Spawn, that might be the first character with like a handgun like that. <laughs> she's got a. Oh, she's got like a. It's like a Ryan's flying chair. But it's also kind of just a voice scooter. She's just chipping around the city centre, just gonna pop, just drop some books back at the library. It's gonna pop down on a voy. There and back again. It's only three quid. It's a bargain, really. You can understand why they're putting taxis out of business. Is this Grave Digger, the freak? Was this a Spawn comic book character? Anyone? Does anyone know if the freak? What's so freaky about him? He's got long hair. Is that it? Is that a hacksaw? Oh god, he's got a little mitre saw. Katana, cleaver. He's got like he's a real mixed bag. He's a chef. He's a DIY guy. He's could, he could really turn his hand to anything. Yeah, see, look, he could um, help you put up a shed, but also he could fillet a nice top side of beef. This guy's got some skills. Don't know why they called him a freak. Seems a bit mean. Very useful man. Apart from his foot is a puddle. Oh, this is Sanska. I recognise this one. There is a variant that's got hair, if I remember right. Brushable hair. It's just a gross worm. Gross sort of snake worm man. Where's the one with the hair? Ooh, I like this one with the kind of snaky colourway. Oh, maybe there isn't. No, there is one with hair. Hey, this is not a spawn character, right? This is something else. Is Super Patriot from Spawn? Oh, his arm is a gun. Oh, both of his arms are guns. Wait. Do they clip on over his arms? Is that what happens here? Oh, yeah, they... Does his... Wait, because of his shoulder post, do his whole arms come off and get replaced with guns? Wait, in re in the comic book, do his arms turn into guns? And then the way that we show that in the toys, we just clip guns over the top. Ah, Savage Dragon adjacent character. Eric Larson designs. It's good having you here, Josh. It's really good. The comics knowledge. Also, real brushable hair. Winner. That's a real winner. Ooh, I like that repaint even more. Even more, that's nice. Here we go. So I mentioned Spawn 3 earlier. This is great because it's got the kind of... It has the flap out wing. So there's like a button. You fold the wings in. And then you push a button and they sort of snap out. Which is great. That's a really cool... Really cool gimmick, I think. That's a really cool... Um, uh, Toyish thing. And there's... I think the variants are like... One comes with an owl and one comes with a dog. I think those are actually the variants. Yeah, there you go. There's one. There's the owl. I told you. See? The chain is massive on this toy. That's one thing. Oh, maybe it's a bat. No, look. Wolf. Told you. It's a dog. I told you. It's got a collar, so it has to be a dog. It's not a wolf. You don't... Wolves don't wear collars. So one one has got an owl, one's got a dog. Um, ridiculous chains. This, this is what... This, this resembles the outside of my jeans in 1997. That's what that looks like. Silly. Ooh. This is a cool one. Zombie spawn. Here we go. Spawn archive. Yes, the freak appeared in, appeared in Spawn issue 37. He was originally set to appear in issue 19 from an old Wizard magazine issue. Oh. Well, there you go. It's quite early on, actually. That's within the first 50 issues. I should know that. It's quite good, that one. It's quite good. Oh, Dave Burford's in the chat. Oh, yeah, do you, do you speak random ASCII? I think this is um, poorly translated Japanese because when my Windows 95 doesn't have Japanese language. 
So I think that's what's happening here. So this is Mangler. Mangler is a werewolf who's also a hellspawn. So that's cool. He's like a no, he's a non-human hellspawn. He's a, he's a poochie. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good mangler. Yeah. So that's good. He's in the in the spawn manga. I hear. I hear from a very reliable source. I think this is the mangler skeleton, which is a wicked toy. Scourge. What a great... I think... Yeah, Scourge... Look at that. That is cool. It's like a demon skeleton. With tons more arms than it should have. Love that. Mmm. Big fan. Just everything that's going on here is just wrong, isn't it? Hook hand. Crutch. Why'd you call him that? Seems a bit mean. Daily Spawn Archive, Spawn 3 is my favourite figure, but it's difficult to display in my Spawn collection with those wings. Yeah, you see, because of the size of them, when they're out, it's massive. And then if you've just got to fold them up, then you're like, well, that's not really the, the conceit of the toy is the giant wings. So I don't want to fold them up. It reminds me, now I'm thinking about it, it reminds me of the Jeff Goldblum hang glider. The uh, Ian Malcolm from Lost World that Dobsy got for me. If Dobsy's still in the chat, Dobsy got me a... Jeff Goblin figure, and he's got a little uh, hang glider with the wings that pop out. Absolutely brilliant figure. Up there. One of the goats. Yeah, I'm not sure about Crutch. Sport Daily Spawn's going to pop in the chat now and say, yeah, Crutch was in Spawn issue 56. There and gone again. Because he didn't have the staying power of uh, any of the other big Spawn villains. Like that ice cream guy, whose name now escapes me. He'll come to me. You, you know what I mean. Kills kids. Has an ice cream van. Also became a hellspawn. Is this nobody? Yeah. I feel like I'm playing a quiz of myself. Do you know what I'm getting from this? I'm getting Alpha from Power Rangers vibes. Aye, 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 Zordon. That's, that's what I'm getting from here. That's what I'm getting from this guy. Hey, Dobsy says, got a set of those cards myself too. Yeah, loving it. The spawn action figure cards, mate. Brilliant. Dobsy also gave me a full set of those spawn action figure cards, which I photographed a bunch of them last year for Spawn Timber. Uh, yeah, pa Panels to Pixel says this series feels very Playmates. It does. It does have a kind of Turtlesy vibe. It does have a very Turtlesy vibe. I think they're much bigger as well, though. So they probably wouldn't. They probably wouldn't scale well with turtles, which is one of my biggest gripes with uh, spawn figures. Because I feel like Todd thought it was a good joke to make them big because they were bigger than everyone else's toys. But then the problem with that is that they didn't scale. So you couldn't really play with other people's toys because the figures were too big. Anyway, this one's this is one of my favourites, Daily Spawn Archive. The, the, the Daniel Lonzo, Curse of the Spawn. This has got crazy. Like This is not... We're still... Series 8, I think we're still in the 90s. And this figure has got so much articulation, so much sculpted detail, so much paint. It's got a gimmick as well. The little bony wings have a thing on the back so you can flap the wings like a wrestling figure. Like, it has got so much toyetic value. I, I think this is just an all-timer. All this is one of the best. Love it. I absolutely love it. And there's a, there is a red. Oh, they're not showing it, but there is a red variant. It's got, like, red skin, which is wicked. Dave Burford says, the only spawn I know is is that movie from decades ago. And then question mark on decades. Yes, Dave, it was decades. <laughs> I had an art book annual thing for it too. Well, that, that means you're a spawn fan. If you own spawn merch, you're now a spawn fan. So welcome to the club. Uh, yeah, that movie is, that's a, that's a movie, man. So the toys of that are in this CD-ROM. So they did release some toys uh, for that, which was, which was good. We'll get to them. They were quite good, actually. There's one I had like a. My brother had it. It had like a bandolier. You put around his little, put across his body. Had some machine guns and stuff. Yeah, that was cool. Ro rotar. Oh, it's called that because it's got a rotor. This is another. This is a good one. This is the Native American spawn. I really like this one. It's a really cool figure. This this is up there with my. This is. They're running out of pictures. Look at this. Look, just two. That's all we're getting. Now we're up in series eight. Oh, this is a 
Bison Man. Saber. This is cool. Is this like the Native American... Is he goody? Is he a baddie? Is he like the clown? Or is he like the Cogliostro? Hmm. Dave says, I'm not really sure if I still have it. I mean, I'd be surprised if you still had a 25-year-old art book for a film that wasn't very good. Good on you if you do. <laughs> Daily Spawn Archive says, I love the paint job on the Curse of the Spawn figure. I wish this character re returned. Yeah, the paint job's great on it. It's very simple. It's just like dry brush in and a bit of ink washing, but it crushes it, man. It's a great figure. Super, super high up there. Who's this little fella then? The Gatekeeper. So the Gatekeeper's power, right, is he's, he really likes Star Wars, but he doesn't like anyone else getting into it. So if you tell him, I actually quite like Star Wars, he goes, really? Name, name, name six X-Wing pilots then. And you can't say Luke Skywalker, it doesn't count. He's like that, and, that, and so that makes him a baddie. Actually, he'd be a good member of the Spawn fandom. He'd be quite good, because you say, I like Spawn. It's a fine name Name five Spawns, then. You go, Mangler? Uh, Ninja Spawn? Who's this one? What are these little things? No, is this the thing? Are these the things that came in a bag? This is Gravedigger again. So we just had him, didn't we? Or did I just say the word Gravedigger earlier? Anyway, here we go. Look, Spawn the Movie. Told you, Dave. Told you. Spawn the Movie figure. And there was a... Here, here we go. There, bandoliers. And a cool gun. And then there was one that was covered in... Oh, my God. Look at that. With the hamburger. Looks kind of wet, doesn't it? Very shiny. Glossy. I feel like this is a test figure. Because I, the, I'm pretty sure the retail figures aren't this shiny. But this... Oh, John Leguizamo action figure. Oh, you could get this and have it, and have it with a little Mario Brothers Luigi. And you have yourself a nice John Leguizamo collection. That's firing synapses in my brain now. How many John Leguizamo film roles would have action figures? Actually, possibly more than just two. This is one we need to look into. Mm, nice little John. A nice little John collection. That could be something nice. Oh, does it come with a little... Oh, it comes... Oh, it's cool. He clips on... Oh, that's good. That's really cool. The violator bits that clip on. Look at the sculpting as well. That's really good. I love that. Silver Surf Punk. Sid from Ice Age. Yes. Yes, that counts. That absolutely counts. Here we go. Spawn... Oh, this is when he digs up his own body? Grave digging shovel. <laughs> burnt spawn. Well, technically every spawn's a burnt spawn. Here's Al. That thing's real. That's the Boston Dynamics. That's the big dog. Hey, how spawn predicted our future. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> that actually looks quite a lot. I really want to zoom in on the face, because from here... Looks quite a lot like old um, Martin Sheen. Yeah. There you go, Jessica Priest, before she was She-Spawn. Love it. Where's the spiky? Yeah, there you go, that's the spiky one. Is that it? There's only one picture of that one. That one's cool, look at those veiny wings. Yeah, Attack Spawn, good name. Hmm. That looks huge. Look at the size of that box. You know that's going to be like that big. Like that giant Independence Day alien. That one I got. But that makes the horrible noise. You know it's going to be like that. That's a pretty good Mal Bulger, I think. So, oh my god, look at the size of his gun. He's got Megatron. <laughs> What's the, what the hell is up with that giant gun? Does he have giant hands? Not really. Oh, is it? A, it's like an oversized. It looks like a, like a two up. Because it's got the same hand. That is ridiculous. What is that knife, firstly? That's just two knives. And what is that gun? The bullets are like that. That's hilarious. That's so good. 
Right, Daily Spawn Archive says, Since McFarlane has connections with Warner Brothers, I wish there's a remaster to spawn the movie figures. I mean, that would be quite a good idea, to be honest. Like, because you'd be able to make some really solid figures out of that. McFarlane are just knocking it out of the park with the toys at the minute. They're not poseable enough for me, but everything else is very, very good on those toys. Dave B says, Had a look, don't see it. Found an old copy of Games Master and a Transformers pop-up book. <laughs> I just get the feeling, Dave, you're not the kind of person who throws things away, eh? Super size. Oh, yeah, here we go. These are the... Ooh, I like the super-sized medieval spawn. That's a cool shield. It doesn't spin, though, does it? D don't don't make me touch the sign. If you're not going to spin the shield, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. That's cool. I like that. And now we've, we've gone all the way around. We've looked at every single spawn figure. From 1991 to whenever these were. What do you reckon? So the film was, what was the film, 97? 99? I'm just trying to, 97, there you go. So that's that's an amazing amount of toys because the first spawn figures were like earlier in the 90s. So that is an outrageous amount of toys to come out in a short period of time. That's wild. Dave Burford says, I don't know what you mean. I can totally wheel my wheelie chair more than a foot and a half in this office. Right. And a good job you like the heat because that sounds wild. So what do you reckon edit? What do you reckon I can do with this? Ooh. I mean, I can't read anything, but oh God. I'm terrified. Does anyone? Collection edit room. Oh. Oh no. I regret everything. I'm going to just click things till it goes away. Oh! There you go. Oh no. Do you reckon I've deleted the images? Maybe I have. Do you know what we're going to do? We're just going to quit. There you go. Oh god. Oh, is it going to quit the whole thing? Maybe it will. Flashing warning chat. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Waiting for you to actually end up with a nude spawn. Oh no, how did this happen? Uh, well, it quit the whole thing, which is pretty good. Imagine, I mean, I don't think it's beyond McFarlane to do a nude spawn. I'd be up for it. This is a bit like uh, the the other day when I, I was in the comic shop and they had, uh, what's that sexy pig comic called? It's by image. Un... something? Unbound? Anyway, it's about a sexy pig. And um, Spawn was on the front cover of the latest issue and I was like, wow, I wonder if the sexy pig has sex with Spawn. And then I was like, that would ask so many questions because now I'm like, is Spawn anatomically uh, correct? Does Spawn have all of... Because he's not technically human, right? He's not got like a heart or lungs or anything like that because he doesn't need it. So like, would he would he have reproductive organs? Don't know. But all of a sudden I found myself thinking about that. That's Spawn got a willy. And the she-Spawn's got boobies, so... Maybe we need to ask Todd. That's what we need to... Froze your camera too. Didn't know you were running it from CD-ROM. Yeah, so I'm not technically running it from CD-ROM because I've got an emulated... This is an emulated version of Windows, so it's just running it from an ISO. So it should be a bit quicker than uh, a CD-ROM, but it is also difficult to emulate a whole operating system, so... Uh, yeah. Asking the big questions. Like, well, you know, this is what happens, Dave. This is what happens on these streams. You come because you think you're going to be looking at some action figures and you're leaving with the big existential crisis of does Spawn have a willy? Some would call these thoughts a blessing. Some would call them a curse. I don't know. 
Right. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's the real curse of Spawn, says Panels to Pixels. No little Al. And that might be why he's so upset all the time. That's why he keeps shouting for Wanda. Maybe that's it. Ooh, Silver's back. Adding to the John Leguizamo collection, there's Bruno from Encanto, Glowbox from Rain Man, and Goon from Titan AE. All very good. These are all voice acting, but they count, especially the Titan AE, because I'm in over my head. That's a hell of a film. Titan AE is a hell of a film. We'll take that all day long. Hey, look, it's a meal for two. A meal for two's in the chat. How can I have notifications on and still not get notified about live streams? Gah! Glad I caught you, though. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here, bud. Um, I'm glad you made it, because we're... Look at this. We've got 3D pipes, man. We're, we're rocking the Windows 95 vibes tonight. Uh, Silver says, I need to rewatch Titan AE. And Dave B says, love that film. See, both correct. Both also, yes, you do need to rewatch it. And it is good. I rewatched it maybe two years ago. Still very good. Also watched it as a double bill with Treasure Planet because I feel like there's the same vibes. And both good. Titan AE edges it because it's got soundtrack. It's the same. It's got contemporary music. We love it. We love to see it. Uh, Emil, love hearts. <laughs> Show us your pipes. Yes. Right, I'm going to do about spawn. That's what we're going to do now. Ooh, Silver says, I was obsessed with Treasure Planet as a kid. See, this, there was a great era of Disney films when they stopped doing, and it's not better or worse, it's just very good for what it is, when they didn't do songs anymore. So they did Atlantis... Treasure Planet, and then I think there's one more which I just can't remember off the top of my head. It might, it might be like Iron Giant. But just like the, they were not trying to do musicals, they were just trying to tell good stories. And they're really good films. I personally am slightly obsessed with Atlantis. I love that film. I love the Mike Mignola inspired illustration style. Just, yeah, it's mega. Love it. Uh, so yeah, right, where are we going to go? Let's, let's look at comics. So this is actually, if I remember right, this is just talking about the Dengeki, like... Ooh. Mm, skipping a little bit, but... Definitely some, there's definitely work. Oh, wait, a meal for two. Don't you, don't you speak Japanese? What's the gist of this page? Don't translate the whole thing, but maybe you can give me the gist of what, what this all means. And um, I'm going to assume, because I, I had a bit of a... I've, I've used this before and had a bit of a dry run. Yes, please. I would like some of it read, if that's okay. Just just like... There's just the just the cliff notes. Would be good. But also, what do these buttons mean? I'm going to assume forward and back. But is it Japanese forward and back? As in, like, when you're reading a manga... Is this technically forwards and this technically back? Inquiring minds would like to know. I'm going to leave this up for a sec while um, Emil translates. I, I'm so glad that you're here because I actually thought about you when I was putting a stream together. So I can really hope he turns up because he can read Japanese. <laughs> and I know when I put the video out before you text me and you were like, oh, I can actually translate all that stuff for you if you want. So I could do I figure like, does Google translate? You know, you get it on your phone. They should do a layer like in a browser where you can just kind of like pop a browser window over this and it does it for you. That would be good. That would be good technology. Just vibing out to these hip hop beats. These are all on um, the disc as WAVs as well. So I'm absolutely ripping them and going to be using them in the background of my videos. Oh, maybe the, new, the next Spawn video can use the Spawn soundtrack. That's good. Emil, would you mind if I spun on? Because I, I appreciate it's going to take a while, but I'm not sure how long I'll... How long um, we can sort of sit. Well, I can sit because I get a bit impatient. <coughs> While you're working, I'm just going to spin this. Oh, no, his leg. Oh, I just took a picture so I can go through it slowly. Thanks. Um, there's loads more, though. <coughs> all right, so that's fine. So I'm just going to assume, without asking Emil to translate all of this, um, 
These the Dengeki is like they were big reprints, right? Spawn Daily Archive actually. You, you'd know more of this, but I believe these are like maybe hardbacks, but they were big multi-issue reprints, like whole like maybe like twenty or so issues, right? In in each book, and I'm going to assume that these are going to be just giving us a lowdown of what happens in the. 10, 20, 30 issues that are in this. So this would just be like, Spawn, this guy, and he's from hell, and he's come back to Earth to find his wife. And this one's going to be like, Spawn's fighting Italian mobsters for reasons we don't need to explain. And this one's going to be all like, Spawn now is fighting heaven because reasons. Maybe that'd be this one. Yeah, medieval Spawn. These are sick, man. It is pretty sweet. Um... That Spawn did so well in Japan. I think I made this point when I did, covered this, when I made the video about it. Was like, I don't know why this wouldn't have just come out in other places too. Like, why was this only in Japan? Was Spawn bigger in Japan than it was anywhere else? Because, you know, big in Japan, right? That's a that's a phrase. This was good, Spawn Blood Feud. I remember, re I mean, I say that I read this a lot, like 15 years ago, but I remember thinking that was pretty cool. That looks good. This is pretty sweet. Oh, what do you reckon? Is this going to be like, coming soon? Book 12 is on the way. Ring this number and we can tell you all about the upcoming Spawn comics. What? This... Emil, this is the one. Like, what is this? <laughs> what does this mean? I mean, we can guess, right? The power of hell. Oh, is that a button? Oh, my God, it's a button. Oh, my God, there's even more. Oh, God. What the hell? What the hell? Ooh. So, Emil, the first page is Spawn is the strongest comic in the American comic world that attracts many fans. As you may know, these unique and innovative characters are now made into figures, animations, and... And then presumably Dengeki comics, right? So good. Yeah, so if whenever... Yeah, I agree with Silver. Next time someone makes a Spawn video, they need to use this to explain Spawn and go, Look, it's very simple, okay? Hell, and then there's heaven. And by the way, if you need heaven explaining, heaven looks like this. But Spawn is in the middle here, and here are all the things. But anyway, there's also Earth, and if you need Earth explaining, then it's very simple. It's very simply just all of these things, and this here, and this, but it also links back, and also to Spawn. But Spawn is also reciprocally related to this, but also this, and then this, and this is also Spawn, and then this is also Spawn, and this is related to this, but this is also Spawn, but Spawn is also this, and then Spawn is also this, at the same time as this being Spawn, but this thing here is also Spawn, and this is in and out and also spawn anyway uh also there's uh there's also spawns in the middle of this so even though spawn is here spawn is also here so he's in earth but also he's out of earth and he's in heaven related to all these things that's related to each other and also t directly to spawn but also he's there as well and even though heaven and hell are connected there there's also all these things and these connections here and this is connected to that thing and these are all spawn and spawn is spawn but spawn is also spawn pretty self-explanatory i think so anyway, there's going to be an exam at the end of the stream, so hopefully you guys have uh, crammed that. This is what Todd's psyche looks like. This is what Todd, like, he has, you know he's got a whiteboard. You know he's got a whiteboard just covered in all these mad daubings. Oh, animations and films, many of which have become hits one after the other. Line there a bit, Todd. Even if you know about the comics, there's a few who haven't had the chance to read the original comics. If you have one, please give it a try. I promise there will be shocks that you won't know about. At the moment, Spawn Comics are published by MediaWorks Co. Limited in Japanese. So good. Yeah, Daily Spawn, Lord Helmet. Everyone got that? Yeah, so very, very good. This is actually brilliant because somebody went, should we just, should we just knock together really quick, like, we'll just do a deck. <laughs> we'll just do a quick deck. Um, yeah, many, lots of, many, many hits, many fans. <laughs> I think we're all on this stream, aren't we? There's six of us. 
Can't even do the dozens of us meme. Uh, I like they went, let's just do a quick, we'll just do a quick deck to explain how spawn works. And then they made this and everybody went, oh, I'm not really sure it explains it because what's hell? They said, oh, that's all right, we'll do another one. Okay. This is actually my favorite thing of the whole cd -ROM. I missed this before. This is absolutely brilliant. And then just more comics. Right? Because... Violator. Violator. That's the West Country version. Oh, you've seen that spawn. Have you? He's always kicking about with that Violator. Spawn Batman. That's a good comic. The full newsletter. <laughs> yeah, the newsletter list is already here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so good. Angela. Oh, no, wait. I feel like... Didn't we just look at these? No, we didn't. Oh, Spawn Wildcats. That's cool. Medieval Spawn and Witchblade. Yep, yeah, that's good. That's good. I don't know what that says, but I'm just... I recognise that character. Glory. Well, maybe I don't. Oh, Glory is a Rob Life of creation. Of course. Shall, shall I send you the text or the rest of the pages on WhatsApp for you to read out? It will be easier than the 200 letter limit on here. Oh, I wondered why you were doing it bit by bit. Yes, mate. That would be mega. That would be super good. What would be really funny, man, is if we can do those... Um, if you can help me translate those mad pages, I'll, um, I'll like do it in Photoshop and I'll put it out on like socials or something because that would be brilliant. It's a spawn Bible. Well, I'm not a religious man, but... <laughs> if there was one Bible I was asked to swear on... It would be the Spawn Bible. Oh, that's so good. I want that. Uh, what do you reckon it is? Do you reckon it's just an art? Do you reckon it's an art book, or do you reckon it's just a couple of uh, issues? Because it says uh, issue one there, so I wonder if it's just a few. I don't know. Spawn the Impaler. That's the Alan Moore one, right? I think that's the Alan Moore one. Uh, yeah, no worries. Give me a few, and I'll send them. Out. Oh, mate, yeah, take your time. Like, absolutely no rush. Like, really. You know, I'm sure you've got better things to do than translate these, this mental CD-ROM. Um, but obviously it would be brilliant. <laughs> Spawn is not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Oh, it's a character directory. Says Emil. That, that horror, that mad crazy deck. Oh, so it would be like Angela's in hell. And that's cool because the arrows are being like, well, technically they're heaven but they're also kind of hell at the same time and like spawns like heaven and also hell and kind of also earth yeah i love that because that's that's mental so that's great the good book oh oh i'm gonna assume this means you've reached the end that's just a quarter yeah all right So that was original comics. Ooh, this would be really good. I mean, I'm not going to ask you to do this on stream because there's, there's a lot of work involved here, but Amazing Todd. <laughs> just, obviously just got such a great... Amazing Todd. Um, I'm just going to assume it's just all about Todd. Probably Todd McFarlane's a really swell guy, and it'll be the same thing as that. He's had many, many hits and has many fans all over the world. What would be good is it'd be a little video of Todd. Yeah, that's the end of that. <laughs> yeah, Josh says, amazing, Todd. Thanks for noticing. There he is. Look at the guy. Oh, I love him. In the denim as well. You can take the boy out of Canada. So, I clicked through these before. And someone's asking Todd a question. Todd gives his answer. One thing, without having to translate, is I really like how it uses the speech bubble graphic design from the Spawn comics. This is how Spawn talks. So, uh, oh, it's about Spawn Ultra action figures. Cool. So that all the questions are just about figures. Turtle Dreamboat. He is a bit of a hunk, isn't he, actually, Lottie? He is actually a bit of a hunk. I think all those early image lads, though, I think they're all, like, outrageously hunky, considering they're... Um, you know, comics nerds. But then, as Josh informed me yesterday, Todd McFarlane was almost a professional baseball player. 
Canadians love baseball. Do you know that? They love it. Um, yeah. Uh, so where are we saying? Spawn Daily Archive. Amazing Todd. Does he pull 12 variant rabbits out of a hat? Most likely he does. So these will be questions about like, what action figures, action figures. And he's giving really long answers. Diego's here, everybody. Diego's here. The Spawn Bros. Let's go. Uh, awesome. Let me have a quick look at the chat. Let me catch up. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. I am missing a few of these slides, so you might want to send over a few screenshots at some point. That's fine, mate. I'll, I'll sort that out for you. I'll sort that out for you. Studio Lottie says, top five image hunky boys. <laughs> All right, fine. Top five image hunky boys. Todd, number one. Mega hunk. Um, I feel Liefeld's kind of hunky. He did the he did the Levi's jeans advert, so he's technically a professional model. That counts. I would say he's a bit of a Bob Fock, if you know what that means. Um, he's got a great body, is what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, so that was so he's up there. I, J, J, I know I know Josh isn't gonna like this, but Jim Lee's a hunk. Jim Lee's a hunk. Um, who am I kidding? They're all hunks. I can name them all. I couldn't name them all. But they're all hunks, in my eyes. Dave Burford, I think this would be fun to mistranslate, intentionally make stuff up and just re-release it into the world. Well, we can just do that now. We can do fake news. We do question four. Todd McFarlane. Uh, the, the, the Japanese public wish to know, what are your thoughts on climate change? And Todd says, wake up, idiots. Fake news. There's nothing wrong with the environment. It's all fine. I write comics about people going to hell because that's the only global warming there is. On Earth, there's no such thing. Everybody needs to grow up and stop being worried about a few carrier bags. There you go. That's a quote. Todd McFarlane said that. Not my views. Not my views. That's what Toddy says. Anyway, anyway, look at this. Diego's coming and now everyone's talking about Diego. <laughs> Making me terribly jealous. No, but seriously, Diego, I'm super happy that you're here. I'm super happy you're here because you are the originator of Hashtag Spawn Timber. And here we are, streaming. Streaming the Spawn CD-ROM. Studio Lottie says, I thought you were all Spawn Stars. Well, we have, the Spawn, we have a Spawn Stars WhatsApp group, but really we're the Spawn Bros. I just called it that because I thought it was funny because it sounds a bit sexy. And I just kind of thought, you know, we're just four sexy lads having a chat about Spawn. Oh, Josh actually agrees. Panel Pixel says Jim Lee had that preppy style, a total hunk. Fine, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Silver says, no, Todd. It gets worse. It gets worse. Look, what else can we say here? Oh, question seven. Todd, have you played Starfield and did you have any thoughts about being able to select your pronouns? <laughs> and then Todd then just goes on his mad egg egghead rant about being current day. I don't really understand much of it if I'm honest with you, but he seemed to be very yeah, he had some strong opinions. Todd the turf. <laughs> I really I really think that although that's a funny sort of edgy joke number one terms aren't funny number two i would i'd be devastated if it turned out todd mcfarlane had problematic views but i get a vibe from tom that tom tom mcfarlane i get the vibe from todd that he's a he's a live and let live kind of guy i think he's a cool guy i think if you'd ask him anything about this he'd probably say why do you care so much man get on with your lives buy spawn buy spawn comic books Right, here we go. I heard I heard Todd kicked a baby in the face. This is question eight. It said it here. Todd, it's just a quick question. Have you ever kicked a baby in the face? Todd says, stop asking me these silly questions. Of course I kicked a baby in the face. When we founded Image Comics, that was one of the ways in which we'd get people to sign the contract. It's by committing, by kicking a baby. 
very yeah, very topical this 90s CD-ROM so I don't even I Starfield must have started production very early like it must have been they've been working on that for a lot longer than we thought fingers crossed Todd is chill I, I just do you not get the vibe from Todd like I feel like not even not even like a live and let live I was I feel like I don't think he'd be like a relaxed kind of guy I feel like he'd be like an aggressively shut up kind of dude you know like I think he'd be an aggressively everybody stop being idiots kind of feel like he'd have that vibe yeah stop caring buy more spawn Oh, that lot is asked a great question in the chat. Do you think Todd is dry rub or sauce? Um, it's, well, Todd's. It's getting a bit dark, and I'm getting a bit orange. Let me see about turning a light on. Does that? It's a bit much. That. Let's give that. Give that a spin, eh? That'll do. Lighting more of the background than me, but that'll do. Just so I'm not quite so orange. Um. Oh, Daily Spawn messaged and then redacted their comment. It was about, it was almost certainly going to be about Todd. Todd being dry rub or sauce. Todd, Toddler Kicker McFarlane. Yes, that's what the Todd stands for. It's not actually his real name. Um, yeah, who knew? Who knew? Um, well, he's, let, me th let me break this down, right? So I think he's more likely to be a dry rub. <laughs> Diego says, I don't know if dry rub means what I think it means, so I'll just wait this one out. No, you do. So the two styles of barbecue, right? Like northern versus southern style barbecue. So is he a dry barbecue or a or a or a, or a saucy barbecue? I feel like he's gonna be a I, you know, he's gonna be a saucy. He's gonna be a saucy. He's gonna be that kind of Alabama wet sloppy barbecue he's gonna get it all down him he's gonna be the kind of guy who gets food down him and he doesn't care he's just slopping up them ribs he's got the mopping sauce as well he's just getting it everywhere doesn't give a damn he's enjoying himself and god bless him emil says dry rub and that's that's fair if you think that's if you think todd's a dry kind of guy a dry guy then I want to know why. Oh my god, I'm spitting bars tonight, lads. <laughs> Silver says, with how wet some of the characters look, he's a sauce guy. See, I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's that's kind of how it works. I feel like he's a he's a he's a saucy character, isn't he? He's a saucy character. Right. So we've done Amazing Todd. We've done Original Comics. Goods box is actually my favourite bit. So let's go for it. Let's go for it. Oh, Emil just says, I've just always preferred a dry rub. No fair. I, dry barbecue has its place. I really like a dry barbecue. So I really like ribs. I like, and I like smoked ribs and like smoked chicken. And I don't like that to be saucy. So if I'm like smoking, get a nice sugary dry rub, curing it, you know, nice salt, sit it in it overnight and then put them in the smoker. And then you just get nice, soft, pulling away from the bones, delicious chicken and ribs. But also, I mean, that's not like I don't like wet barbecue. I think, I think, as with all things, everything's got a place. Everything's got a place. <laughs> oh, barbecue. This is awkward. Okay, fair enough, Emil. <laughs> anyway, this is a Hot Wheels version of the Spawnmobile. So, the, Todd McFarlane did have a real work in Spawnmobile, right? Right, bros? We know that. He's got, like, I want to say it's just his own car. He got it, like, just made up to look like Spawnmobile. Panels. Fun fact, the figures don't actually have a paint wash. Todd just eats barbecue near them and they get splashed. And so you open up the packaging, you're like, hmm, smoky. Diego says, definitely not where my mind went. So, like, as a, as a resident of New, New York City, Diego, um, what, do you, what do you have, like, what are the terms for the d different styles of barbecue food? Because, I mean... I know that there's like definitely the British version of barbecue, the what we call barbecuing. I think Americans call grilling. Um, and I think barbecuing is probably what we would call smoking. So I think the the terminology is slightly different. 
but is there a is there a difference like to to you is there a perceivable dry rub versus like is that is that word not that you said that's not even the word you'd use so lay it on me how much would you love some spawn trading cards in the chat by the way these look sick I don't have my spawn toy trading cards out or would I'd show them to you right now do it no I don't I've just got the toys out Ooh, daily spawn McFarlane mentioned during his whatnot live stream that he still has the real spawn mobile oh my god he should get it out they should he should like do the Le Mans 24 hours in it or something crazy like that that'd be sick that'd be super awesome Oh, Diego says, honestly, maybe that I'm just not cultured in barbecue styles. Okay. I don't know. What, uh, uh, okay. I'm not sure what else to say. Then that's the end of the barbecue conversation. Anyway, oh, fine. What do you think Todd would like, though? <laughs> what do you reckon Todd has on a pizza? What do you reckon Todd... Uh, do you reckon Todd... Like, he's not going to be... He's not just a margarita guy, is he? He's not just, like, just, just cheese for me. I think Todd's, like... He's probably a sloppy Giuseppe, you know, he's going all out, sourcing it up. Okay, what is, is this a calendar? Is this game cards? I don't really know what that, power cards. Diego just eats hot dogs, I assume. Yeah, D Diego's all about them glizzies. Yeah, <laughs> glizzies all day, glizzies all day. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. How come Todd doesn't just write? Because Todd's obviously obsessed with New York City, so he's like he's just he's just be page after page of glizzies in Spawn. Ooh, Studio Light says triple pepperoni, and I can't help but wonder if if that's a personal if that's an inside joke. She's trying to trying to get at me. Emil says pineapple and babies. It's probably on brand. Do you know what Todd would be a pineapple guy? You know, like if if there was going to be a debate, I think Todd would be like, yeah, I'm pineapple. Pineapple all day. Pineapple all day. What's a glizzy? Glizzy's a hot dog, babe. Um, because I'm on the spot, I can't remember. <laughs> worms. Yes, Diego says he'd have worms. Yes, of course he'd have worms. Handfuls of worms. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember where it, the word comes from. But it's Diego will probably say like I. I read it not too long ago, but I'm on the spot and I can't think of the stuff when I'm streaming because my brain's too busy. So what's Skyverse? Okay, well, this is obviously just some kind of, I don't know, like Magic the Gathering kind of vibe. Oh, man. I saw these before. Like, you can you can eBay these now. They are they're handsomely priced. That's just, that's just a very, very minimal colorway. I like that with the molded spawn, but that, do you know, the, if these were real chains, this would be the sickest lighter in, in existence. But Spawn Zippo, that's, that's up there. This is really good. You know when you just get these Japanese just phrases on a shirt? Chomp, good. I think that says munch, but that also might not be an M. That says vavash. That says skagut. Enough spawn. And if that doesn't sum up, that spawn summed up in five words chomp, grunch, vavash, skagut, enough spawn. Summed it up, didn't they? Summed it up. I love that. These, are, and also this knitted spawn sweater i cannot tell you how much i want this oh my god i would kill <laughs> like if there was a pattern i'd be i'd be paying some <laughs> daily spawn says that's what i say in bed um i would pay someone i'd pay someone's nana to make that for me that is the coolest thing it's so wicked that's also good but it's just a normal thing that's fine hats they're pretty good dad hats man they're pretty good Hey, these are, um, aren't these for the shopping? These are for like when you go to Morrison's, you want to get the shopping trolley and you got to put, a, you know, you have to put the pound in. Otherwise they won't let you take the, take the trolley away. You just pop one of them in there instead. Oh, is that a little Hawaiian shirt? 
I wish these existed. I wish you could just get these. Don't know what they are. They're just t-shirts and scream spawn. They're probably just like panels from the comic, which is probably cool, and that's fine. This is where you go. Hey, look, do you reckon it's still there? Who wants to Google this? Tokyo Plaza. Cosper Gallery. Uh, Studio Lighty says, my mum might take a crack at it. But the thing is, she's going to be going by a picture. She's not going to be able to do that, right? She'd need a pattern. I couldn't just be like, <laughs> give her a screenshot from a 1998 CD-ROM and be like, come on then, knock that up. I want this and I want this. A lot. I want them a lot. But that's just, oh yeah, so I was saying earlier, the clear Angela with the VHS. That's really wicked. And I am I know I mentioned these before. You can eBay these, because I have been eBaying these for about the last two years. Uh, or maybe, yeah, is it a year ago I made the video? So like, however long I've had this, I've been Googling these, eBaying these. And they come up, they're pretty consistent, but they consistently go for 200 quid. And they're only in Japan, so you have to then pay to ship them and pay the taxes. Like, the, the thing is, we go, that, that one's fine. Like, Spawnhead, yeah, that's pretty cool. The Spawn logo, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the, the, the belt with the spikes, yeah, that's pretty cool. Violator. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Like, it goes from fine to absolutely wicked. I can't explain how much I want that Violator ring. Daily Spawn says, man, we need new Spawn shirts. I don't want to pay hundreds for an old Spawn shirt on eBay. Exactly the same, right? Exactly the same. So you can find, like, vintage Spawn. Oh, that medieval Spawn's pretty cool. Uh, the Spawn 2 with the split, pretty good. Not my vibe, but pretty good. j j j j j j j j j j g unit um, Yeah, I'm not buying, like, 30-year-old vintage shirts off of eBay. If I go... So we live near Bristol... Um, if I go into Bristol, there's tons of vintage stores. Now, you might find, like, on a rack, you might just find some, like, 90s band shirt. So you might find, like, something like a Spawn shirt. But the, you're going to be being, you're gonna be paying second-hand clothes prices. You're paying, like, five, ten quid for a shirt, which isn't really the end of the world. Like, that's fine. But whenever you go on eBay, someone's going to want, like, 30, 40, 50 quid for an old shirt. And I just, I always just think someone's armpits have already sweat into that for potentially years I'm not I'm not paying for someone's old armpit sweat and their their belly sweat getting all over it. I'm not paying for that and they've been spilling their glizzies down the front not into it I'm not into it these books however these are really nice these actually go for pretty cheap um, these spawn figure collections they actually go pretty well oh that might be the merch section done there's like three or four of them now Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, Panels says, I've been wanting that belt ring for a while. I like how J Josh is keeping it low key. Josh is keeping it like classy. And I'm like, I want the big ugly violator. Like, I just want the most ostentatious, showy thing imaginable. Ooh, Diego says, these could be like our NFL rings. <laughs> they really could. They really could. <laughs> Right, so we look at the movie. That's a pretty cool logo. Oh, actually, I remember seeing the Spawn. I think Japanese film posters have a really good vibe. Just there's something about... Maybe because it's like a language that you I can't read. Because it's like not Roman or anything. So it always looks quite, I suppose, exotic in a way. Which is probably good and bad for me to say that. But often, like, the, 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 the photos will be different. And they'll, like, colour grade them different. Or they might put it in black and white. And it might be, like, super high contrast. I always think Japanese posters are really quite arty compared to Western posters. This is just saying there's a Spawn film coming, isn't it? There you go. Oh, that's actually just the same. Yeah. It's fine. Pretty cool. Like, is this like slightly... Do you know what I mean? Is it like slightly warmer? Rather than being white, it's got this kind of like ivory. That's it. That's it. That's it for the Spawn film. <laughs> Daily Spawn Archive. I want to propose with the Violator ring and see her reaction. If it isn't yes, then you don't need that in your life. Right? Right, that was the original comics. 
So we've now done the full spawn collection. We've done about spawn, and now we're just going to finish off with McFarlane toys. It's been pretty good. We've been a couple of hours at this now. So, which oh, oh, that's just some text, probably about Mc, just saying McFarlane toys are fine purveyors of action figures. Buy them. Stop arguing. I buy them. All right. Let's do. Let's do this one. I think. Let's do this one. This is all the trailers. So this is really cool. So there's a bunch of the old toy trailers, and I had to download QuickTime Two um, to get these working because I already had QuickTime Three on this emulator, which worked fine, but the videos weren't loading, and I was getting really stressed out, and I just had to install. QuickTime 2 in addition, because this CD-ROM looks for QuickTime 2. Because I guess they just weren't forward thinking when they programmed this. They just weren't thinking about, they weren't future proofing. Anyway, who wants to watch some sort of 320 by 240 videos? Spawn is America's number one comic book thanks to you. So, you know, I started a company to make the toys that you asked for. Spawn, on later. I hear that the competition's flying around. They could be any place. Nice try, guys. That's wicked. So, apologies for the. Like I said the the audio is a little laggy. Um. And it isn't always like this. It just kind of goes through periods where it kind of struggles. Is it doing better now? I can't. Yeah, so it kind of, because it's emulating a CPU, it has to do quite a lot of work just to run that tiny little video. And I tested it before the stream and it worked okay, so I'm wondering maybe just there's a little more strain on my CPU because we're also streaming. So we'll go, we'll try another one because this one's the giant chains. We'll give this one a go. There it is. There it is. Was, I'm doing that. And then when it comes back, it's like. Yeah, let's have a quick look at them. There it is. I love this. I love the fact that that's a real person in a live action live action spawn outfit. Look at the size of that Malbolger figure. Ar, ar, ar. Brilliant. There's Chapel. Love this. It's kind of wild to me that like I don't remember seeing these adverts as a kid. I remember knowing what Spawn was. I remember knowing what Spawn toys were. But I never saw these adverts. I'm not sure if they were marketed in the same way here as they were in the States. Um, oh, yeah. Josh says that might even be the real Al Simmons. He, yeah, he wrote a book, right? About being Spawn. Um, I don't remember seeing these adverts. And like they're proper mainstream toy adverts. They're just like... The adverts you'd see from Canner or from Playmates or whoever else, they're really no different. Like these are just these are for kids. Go go buy these toys that are definitely for kids. And it's like a really weird thing because the Spawn comic is for definitely for like kids older than that. But then maybe that's the real genius of Spawn, is it appeals to all ages. All ages, all uh ethnic backgrounds, all uh financial and uh, economic strata. Everybody can be into spawn. Because technically, anyone can be spawn. They went so hard on that spawn costume. They did. They really did. Like, look at it. And they gave him like, there's like post effects where they give it glowing eyes and stuff. 
Love it. What a hero. Diego says, didn't he go to cons in costume? Yeah, I think he did. Like, he was, he was, I mean, he's the real Al Simmons, right? I think he made that his whole personality for quite a while. That's cool. Like, that was a hand animated little bit there. It's clearly Todd. That'd be even better, wouldn't it? Imagine Todd's just like, I don't trust anybody else to play Spawn. Come on. Nice try, guys. That bit was great. Vertebreaker. Spawn, look out! <laughs> Spawn, look out! Love it. This live action footage was originally used for a 30 second Spawn the Movie proof of concept trailer. I have the video on my channel. Shameless plug. Get out of here with your. Get out of here with your uh, shameless self promotion. We will not stand for it. That's cool, man. And I saw that you'd mentioned earlier um, that, yeah, these have been. They have been uploaded to YouTube in higher quality. Like, But to me, these are just more fun because they're absolutely tiny. And then this horrible quick time format. But yeah, look at this, like green light. We all think that. <laughs> Whoa. That was the Christmas spawn. Hey, there she is. Not from spawn. Not from spawn. Love that one. Welcome to my world. That's really good. I like. Did we watch this one? I think we did, didn't we? Oh. Yeah. Can I? Oh God, that just closed the whole thing. All right. Well, we'll just open it up. Don't hit escape. It will close the whole thing. Just a quick FYI. Bit more light. Going a bit too orange. Yeah, Panel says, I, I love how the announcer says Clown 2, as if that's his name. Yeah, it's because it, it didn't say Spawn 2, which is interesting. I noticed that on like the earlier thing. They were showing off uh, the Spawn 2 figure. So, I don't know. The, I guess you're just a voiceover actor. You're just giving a script, aren't you? Or you just said, say this. Oh, this one's got the CGI Spawn. This one's got the CGI. Oh, look at that. Oof. Love the glowing eyes. Pretty sure they were Transformer sound effects. Yes. That was probably Asbestos, wasn't it? That fake snow. They used to use Asbestos for fake snow. Yeah, that, that was great, that one. Love that CGI spawn. Love it. Gotta love these commercials with kids playing in hell. Well, that it's in Spawn's world. It's fine, actually. Also, I hadn't noticed this. Brilliant bit of English. You may choice the scene. Love that. Absolutely love that. Right. Where are we going to go next? Ready for action. This bit's quite good. I remember this being like, this actually just takes you through the kind of um, toy making process. So they'll be like, I imagine this will say something like, oh, so we start with a sketch. Here's a sketch by someone. Who's that? Sam Keith? I don't know. And then, yeah, we're like, oh, here's, here's, here he is. Here's someone sketching the thing. Coming up with a toy idea. It's got a calculator there. Here's um, John Carpenter working on... An early draft of Escape from LA. And there yeah, we go, moving on to the sculpting. I think this is actually really cool because uh, I don't know how commonly we see things like these clay shots for toy sculpts because not even a lot of like other toy companies will show like their sculpting process because like that's like, you see, that's like a, a real rough. And then there it is, a bit more refined, a bit more detail. 
<laughs> like he says, he probably hated working on it. He he never wanted to work on it. That's the thing about uh, John Carpenter. Whatever you talk about is the important thing to remember is John never wanted to do it in the first place. He just accidentally made a bunch of films. He never wanted to. Would rather have not. And look at this bro over here. Sculpting some really big... So these are like, what are these, three ups, four ups? A lot of the time they'd sculpt these way, way bigger than they needed to be. And then in the molding process, they can shrink, shrink it down, essentially, like a shrinky dink. And all the details that they sculpted suddenly become way more fine and way, way more detailed because it's shrunk down. It allows, it allows them to get more detail in the figures without having to sculpt really, really tiny things. Ah, oh, Bart Spears. It's Bart Spears. Daily Spawn Archive said Bart Spears did that concept artwork. Oh, Emil says, I've sent over the ones I managed to get pictures of. That's really cool. Thanks, mate. Ooh, Honor Among Scars. Have you just arrived or have you been lurking this entire time? N -A -N -G -L, not going to lie, still holding out hope John gets to make his Dead Space movie. He's been wanting to for around a decade now. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a very John Carpenter vibe, isn't it? Like, it's just going to be the thing in space, right? It's... Kind of like it's not the same conceit, but it's a very similar claustrophobic stuck in an environment You can't go outside or you'll die and there's monsters in here that will get you uh, It's got that same kind of claustrophobic vibe. It's very very him. I just don't think he wants to make films anymore, right? I don't think he's really just seems to be making music with his sons and he seems to be quite happy with that Ah, I've just been watching for a few minutes. Well pleased to have you. Thank you for joining so here we have uh, the same same dude again. He's got a bit hot. He's taking off his hat. But working on these four ups. John Carpenter wishes to do nothing, says Studio Marty. Could be could be true. Here's, here we go, like some early blanks. So I think this is is that James Earl Jones? Is that <laughs> just a little I think I think that is. Uh, he's only brought up wanting to do Dead Space as a director, but he briefly brought up being asked to do the music for a potential film. Oh, okay, cool. That's cool. I mean, I'd, I'd watch it because he's a great filmmaker. And Dead Space, I think it's quite a filmic thing, isn't it? It's not, you know, as a game, it's like good, but I think it would make a very good film. And not many games, I think, would translate, but it's not so much the Dead Space that I think wouldn't translate to a good film. The animated film is really good. If you haven't seen that, highly recommended the animated prequel. There's a, on the Trello board, there's a ticket there on my things to do in future. I would love to do a dive into animated specials from the 2000s because there's some really good ones. Um, me and Lottie were thinking about doing it again, like a podcast style one where we just riff about stuff that we like. There you go. So that'd be an early resin shot, right? That's an early shot of them casting it up. There's their sort of fiberglass masters, I guess. Oh, is it, what's that? A lathe? Yeah, it's like a yeah, it's a lathe. Nice. Yeah, there you go. That's their that's their vacuum machine. That's the pressure cooker. Nice. This is really cool. So I mean, this is really sweet. I think I don't think there's especially at the time. I don't think anybody was putting this kind of stuff out there. We can actually see this is how toys are made. This is how this is how we go through the process. I just think that's really cool. No, that's Darth Vader, mate, says Emil. Very good. I was thinking it was that fella from um, The Lion King. It's Mufasa. Boneless Wing says, can you give my cousin Aiden a happy birthday? Happy birthday, Aiden. Ha well done for surviving another lap of the sun. It's just one of those. Brilliant. Thanks very much for the sub. Thanks for the sub, Honor Among Scars. That's sick. Thanks, buddy. Thank you very much. So, Boneless Wing, what's up? Uh, your, your, your cousin Aiden. How old is Aiden? Are they st are they an adult? Or are they still a minor? 13. In that case, I, w I can sip some water. Happy birthday. Thanks, Lottie. Everybody in the chat say happy birthday, Aiden. 
And bonus swing, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so now in exchange for all these happy birthdays. Look at that, it worked. Thanks, bonus wing. Now we're talking. If it's that easy, just say happy birthday. So there you go, look, that will be the four up. They probably painted it just for fun. But that's, that is, is that a four? Oh, we're three up. Anyway, like it's a giant, giant version. And then they shrink it down to make the actual toy. Bonus Wing says, Laughy Face. You can't unsub now, by the way. You have to stay subbed for a minimum of one year. Ideally forever. Right. Um, Panos to Pixel says, Spawn Timber Birthday. You get half as many presents. Well, you can get as many spawn presents as you want. Like, that's the key. But if you want non-spawn presents, then yeah, you get half as many. Look at this. This is this is what I've been doing all day. Trying to photograph toys. Look at these. These are like phos these are gonna be like phosphorescent light bulbs. That's like a f is that also like a DV camera or something? That's a, gonna on a chair. I love it. I love that. That's my process right there. Oof. Big CRT. Love that. Independence Day mission disc. That Look at that. Is that an LTP parallel port? No, that's scuzzy, isn't it? That's even thicker. I can tell that's scuzzy. It's got the little wire bits on the side. Mmm. Love it. Boneless Wing says, My friend said I'm a chicken nugget because they call me Boneless Wing. <laughs> what? That makes no sense to me. That's got to be some. That's got to be some teen humour that I just don't understand. Ooh, I like that. Oh, this is these. He's on Photoshop, isn't he? He's doing the. He's doing the card art. Oh, that's wicked. Knocking that up in Photoshop. Photoshop two. And there you go. It all comes together. There's the final piece. The final package. Nice. That monitor stand does not look up to the job, says him. I must go back because that, yeah, look, that is rickety, that, isn't it? I wouldn't trust it because I'll bet that thing weighs. I'll bet that thing weighs it more than the PC. What is that? Like a little. It's like a shuttle. Uh, what's that going to be? A. Um, I can't even remember the form factor for those small little motherboards. Micro ITX, maybe? Wouldn't be ATX. No, would it be ITX or Micro ATX? Either way, small. Boneless wing, because a chicken wing with no bones is technically a chicken nugget. Lottie says, <laughs> but it's not breaded? I don't know if that's true. I don't know. Boneless wing, I don't think that's true. I don't think they make nuggets out of wing meat. McDonald's make nuggets out of chicken breast, which is like the worst chicken meat as well. Like, it'd be better if they were made out of uh, thigh or wing. But yeah, no. Do you mean like those processed, like fake wings? Because they they are basically just long nuggets, aren't they? Long nug, long nug. We call them. Table made by Temu. Very good. Topical. There you go. There it is from the manufacturer. Went to manufacture, and there we go. There's the toys. Spawn. Oh, you, that is. Look at that weird logo. That's so cool. What is that? Do you reckon that's like some kind of? catalog like a retailer catalog there you go got to the end of that oh boy right i think there's one thing left to look at on this entire cd-rom now and it's going to be the other side and this is basically lottie says i'm in for the long nug i'm in i'm in this for the long nug all right i'm not just some fly by night chicken you know in and out I'm not one of them fake chicken fans. I'm in it for the long nug. Yeah, good. Anyway, here's Rob Liefeld's Young Blood. The toys. So what is this? This is like, this is just so we can read more stuff, right? Where's, so is there no, oh, there's not like, click here to look for more. Mm, go away. Don't want you. Ooh. Honor Among Scars. Oh, nice. 
Oh, nice. So Emil says, is a pork long nug a sausage roll? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not even going to argue with that. Yeah, of course it is. Absolutely. It's fine. Next figure. There we go. These are, I'm just going to say now, these are really good. And this is just because we were talking about it on the art stream last week. I feel like they've done a very good job of capturing Liefeld's illustration style right down to the kind of like extreme proportion, like big chunky thighs, small feet. And I mean that in a good way. Like I think that's that's a really cool figure. Do you reckon that's articulated knees? Probably. That's nice. I like that. I might keep my eye out for those. That's some good pose in that. Who's this guy? Scuba, Scuba Steve. <laughs> you can tell how much I know about <laughs> Rob Liefeld's young blood. I've got no idea what these weapons are about. Oh, he's got little pipes though. I, I like that. That's nice. We like the pipes. This is a very good, ma very good man. Crypt. Oh, they got names. Dutch. Just that's just from Predator. Shaft. That's just some shaft. Not going to lie, Scuba Steve looks like that diver from Action Force. Action Force Now? I don't know what Action Force Now is, or among scars. Uh, is that a new thing? Because I know what Action Force is. I don't know about Action Force Now. But I like this guy. I like this one a lot. He, I like what's... There's a, there's a level of over-designedness here that I, that I really appreciate. I've been thinking about having... I feel like stoked the channel. I feel like I want to have a, an original character. I want to have like a, an OC. And um, I, I definitely want them to be an over-designed. You know, like, it'll probably be like Rando Mando. I'll just kind of keep working into Rando. And uh, just have... I just love the idea that with this person, it's like they've got leg wraps and also boots with a knife in and arm wraps and this chest thing and also a torn waistcoat and spears and a hood and an eye thing and a shield and an axe and a spear because I feel like you could take away 75% of them and still have a good character design but but Liefeld was like but why why not have the eye thing and the hood and the little torn waistcoat and the Thundercats, chest strap, and all these other things. Why wouldn't you have them all? Ooh, it was. On it says it was a very obscure Nicktoon that was basically pre Robot Chicken. Oh, okay. It must have been obscure. I thought I knew uh, Nicktoons. Die Hard. That's just some Die Hard. All these names are just taken from other things. I like that. I like this. So he's sort of been slashed and he's gold underneath. Very good. Got a space rocket. I, they've all got knives tucked into their socks, which is very good. Top marks for all the young blood lads for all having knives in the socks. Sort of what this kind of like a reverse Deadpool kind of vibe. Yeah, gold muscle. He's got big gold biceps. That's nice, that. Good design. Here's Human Beast. Grandpa Beast. Kind of Grandpa Wolverine on the voice scooter just popping down to the city centre. That's the second voice scooter we've seen tonight. Although that does look a little bit more like a Ryan's chair. That's got. That's definitely got some sort of Jack Kirby. The whole thing actually has got some Jack Kirby vibes, right? That's very sort of... I expect to see some of that weird crackling circles and stuff in the background. Troll. He's called... Just took that name from Troll. From Trolls. <laughs> no, good. I like this hairstyle. I like this small hand and massive muscles. Really good. Small little leggies. He's a good he's a good one. His scoot is brilliant. Oh, oh, shoulder pads Jackson. Really good. Colossus skin. Thigh blades. They're really good. They're they're just you imagine Rob, he's drawing thighs and he's done Colossus style, you know, organic armor, fine. 
And then he'd put some straps on the top because he went, that's not enough. And I want some big boots that have got spikes. And then he just went, it's just a gap here. There's just, what can you put on the outside of a thigh? And he went, oh, I know. Just a big bat wing knife for like, if, he, if he's doing a flying kick and he misses, he can just get him on the way past. Yeah, that'll do it. Big, big gauntlets, massive shoulders, and one half of a chest plate with robot stuff underneath and a rocket coming out of his head. Brilliant. This, this is great. This might be better than Spawn. This should have been the Youngblood CD. I'm having a better time with these fellas. Might be because I'm vibing on this music. Oh, here we go. This is where it works. The gold. Wilkes Potasio's gold, lads. <laughs> Daily Spawn. Daily Spawn didn't like that. <laughs> Here we go. Wetworks is great. Wetworks are all mercenaries who get um, a, a, a symbiote poured on them that turns them into gold super soldiers. Because everything's a symbiote. Because it's the 90s, so everything's a symbiote. Because Venom did well, and so everybody went, right, that's it. From now on, everything's a symbiote. Shut up. Look at this fella. Great. Although, I will say this for Wilfs. Um, not got the dynamism, the dynamism of the Liefeld stuff. Because it's quite nicely... I'm just going to assume this is based on the comic book illustrations. Nicely proportioned. Quite tasteful. Even though they've got gold skin, not overdoing it. Dark tones, keeping it kind of, you know, low-key... Ooh, Panels to Pixel says, as seen in Jamie's room in Jingle All The Way. So, uh, oh, wait a second. Uh, doesn't someone have a video about all the action figures and the comic book references in Jingle All The Way? Look at this ugly robot. Robot legs. Combable hair. That's how you do a shameless plug. Yeah, well, I you got me to do the hard work there, so I guess I'm the, f I'm the fool there. That's just the same figure in two colorways. Yeah, it is. These weapons as well, man. Like, what are you even doing with that? Come at me, bro. With that. So if you, it looks like you're trying to, I don't know, like fish something out of a river. Trying to get the dead leaves out. Brilliant. Now, now we're talking. There was me saying Will Spotacio is a slightly more, slightly more classy character designer. And look what we've got here. What was I saying earlier about how Todd managed to actually skirt the voracious sexism of the era by not having like boobs hanging out? And Wilkes was just like, nah. Her costume is literally about an inch wide strip of blue fabric that just covers her nipples and then she's just got honking big shiny gold boobs hanging out because <sighs> the kids will love it but also she's got these gnarly robot arms why would she she looks like a Mortal Kombat 9 mod says Honor Among Scars yeah just uh just silly. I mean, I like the robot arms. I think that's very cool, actually. Has she got an eye patch? I feel like that might be... She might have an eye patch. Because that would kind of... Or maybe like half half of a robot head would be pretty cool. Thigh-eye boots because she wants to be sexy. Yeah, fine. So far... Oh, no, she's got a nice head. Or is that, a, is that the variant? I reckon, I reckon she might have a nasty head and there's a nice head variant. But come on. Like, this is... This is 1996, is what it is. It is what it is. We just recognise the era for what it was. We're getting into over-designed here. I'm liking this. This has got kind of cable vibes. I'm getting kind of Winter Soldier vibes, I think, from the the kind of chest plate and the kind of the, the bandana and the long hair. I like the, the bandolier. Big knife. Mmm. That's nice, that. Are these... No, those aren't articulated elbows oh those are just one piece arms still nice nice toy that i want to read some wet works oh here we go here we go 
Joe Big Guns. That's a nice figure. That's going to be five point. That's not articulated knees either. But that's a nice figure. That stands nice. That poses well. That's good. That'd be a nice on a shelf. That. Wonder if Jamie had them. If only somebody knew. Oh God. What does that remind me of? Oh, that reminds me of the body proportions of um. What are the fish people called in Breath of the Wild? You know what I'm talking about. They've got that long body proportion. That's creepy. Are those so that'll be so the thing that's about some of these some of these McFarlane toys is the Zora. That's it. Thanks, Honor. It's the Zora. Going, you, you see what I'm saying? They've got that kind of Zora long body. Like the little dumpy legs at the bottom. Um, so that will be articulated. But because of the pose of the legs and the feet. The only thing you can do is just basically point them forward or back. There, there won't be much you could. There won't be much poseability there. But they'll put it in anyway. Brushable hair. Classic. That's a little tiny werewolf head isn't it? Love that. Oh yeah look there's a white one. I, I do quite like that. It's really ugly. But in a oh wow okay no there was me saying all you could do is rock the body forwards and backwards. That's what you do. You rock the body forwards and now they're a wolf. Rewind the video to this bit where I was being cynical. Skip forward to this bit. Fantastic. I love that. That's great. They turn into a wolf. They're a werewolf. Brilliant. Look what they're called. They thought of it all. They thought of it all. They were two steps ahead of me the whole time. Well done, Wils. Well done. Oh, I just realised it actually says it. it. Says Wils right there. Can you read that? Can you read those pixels? Love it. <laughs> yeah, panel says twerking werewolves. A little bit, actually. A little bit. I'd go and see them in the dance hall. Absolutely. Ooh, yeah, Wet Work Series 2. This one here caught my eye. I think this one's called like Mother One or some such. But translucent plastic. Mm-mm. This is a good one. That part, yeah, look, we've got the, we've got some knee articulation here. Bandoliers. Mm, I like everything about this figure. That's nice. Look at the size of them as well. Those pecs. That's the same figure, but in a rubbish paint job. I don't care about this boring ass skin. I quite like this green arm. I don't care about this boring flesh tone. I want the gold person. Yeah, same. That's a fantastic gun though. Look at how they couldn't even figure out how to get them to hold it like a real gun. He's got to hold it like he's like just putting it on a boat or something. Good. Massive, massive chest. Love that. What's the repaint doing? It's just holding the gun a bit higher. He's got different kind of trousers on. <laughs> Is that it? He's got different kind of, He's slightly paler. Bit, bit of time on the beach. Sitting indoors. Done some uh, gardening work. Leveled up on World of Warcraft. That's the difference. I like this one. I like how she's... I like the thin. That's cool, having like a different body shape. Look at her tiny waist. Oh, wait. Those, those are unnecessarily big boobies, aren't they, for a slight girl? That's a wicked knife. That's cool hair. I like that. Shame about the skin colour. Do you know what I'm noticing as well? So, so you look about the 90s. A lot of Caucasian skin tone. Could have done what you wanted. They're gold. Could have done what you wanted. That's a really nice figure. That's, I like that. I like her a lot. This is it. This is it. Don't know what this character is. Don't know what they're about. But they're clear. And that is good. I friggin' love a clear. Oh, the red's even better. Right, want this one. Put this on the Christmas list. What did I have so far? The really big medieval... Really big medieval spawn. Uh, there was another... There was the silver... No, the black, the spawn colorway medieval spawn. And this red character from Wetworks Series 2. 
They're on the Christmas list. This is a great figure. Big clear thing. Don't know what that is. Brilliant. Love it. Little black pants. Stupendous. If I had that body, I'd wear those pants every day. Mummy. Oh, is this? Are they actually just the mummy? Because I know they did some just. Maybe it was Wet Works who did this. Pre, it's like pre McFarlane's movie monsters. They just did werewolf, mummy, Frank, and they called it Frankenstein, vampire. I think that might have been Wet Works. That's really good. I like all the stitching. That's a really good sculpt. Also, that's a great like, great body pose. Yeah, I like that one. That's good. Nice wash on it as well. It'd be, it'd be good. It's not too bad, is it? I, the thing about this sort of stuff, right, is I'm pretty sure I've said this. I've got nothing against women being sexualized. As long as men are being sexualized an equal amount, and then it's fair. Because men are sexy as well, and I want to see I want to see men wearing thigh high boots with their thighs out. I want to I want to see a man wearing a top like that so I can see his pecs and his shoulders sticking out the top cuz you'd say cuz I'm going to go back right cuz I'm not going to say that this fella I don't think that's a sexualized outfit although he's partially nude he's not really being sexualized in the same way he's just a shirt off it's like a builder it's just like a bloke who's got a job it's not really sexualized but this is like she's actually supposed to be doing a job you wouldn't see a builder walking around the site like that with a hod of bricks on his shoulder going up a ladder. It's, it's just, it's all about just, it's just about getting the balance. Men can be very sexualized and I think they should be. Or nobody should be sexualized. And when I say men, what I mean is all people of all sexualities, all genders and, and uh, yeah, equally. He also says that's Vulcan Raven from Metal Gear Solid. Hey, with a red colourway. It's better in red, actually. I like a, a kind of more detail on them boots. Yeah, that looks much better in red. Yeah, that's wicked. I don't know who Vulcan Raven is. Is that Metal, Metal Gear Solid? I don't... Uh, no, I don't think I can remember who that is. Total Chaos. Here we go. This is it. These look wild, these ones. Is that a rhino? Is that Bebop and Rocksteady? Yes. That's that's a really good Rocksteady, that, isn't it? Oh, and he gets down in his little rhino. Oh, and he gets on his little haunches. That's a great toy. Look at that wash as well. This is what I'm saying. That's probably a test shot. So that's probably not the retail figure. These would be photographs of the test shots. So this will be the best possible, like way that figure would ever look but just look at the way all that surface detail pops when you get that wash on there damn Todd eating his barbecue sauce just over that figure letting it drip all over he's the big guy with the Vulcan cannon so, was he the fella in a tank obviously I know what a Vulcan cannon is but I'm just trying to think I don't remember it like the fella with a minigun is he the fella who drove around in a tank Ooh, the green repaint's fun as well. That kind of has m even more Rocksteady vibes. Yeah, I like that a lot. Kind of, That kind of looks... Yeah, that's kind of like a turtle shell. That's got to be... You can't accidentally make a mutant rhino figure, can you? That's ghastly. <laughs> Josh says, Turtle Chaos was a really cool line. I agree with you. Look at this. Ah, oh, this one. This is this is a really good one, right? This is a medieval spawn body with a clear green hamburger spawn head. Maybe new shoulder pads, but basically just pilfered weapons, some other toys, just all stuck together into one figure. And I obviously think it's fantastic because I love that kind of stuff. Like that's just really cheap way to bulk out a line with a bunch of molds they already had. No need to make anything new. Wax some translucent green plastic in there. Love it. And also, real cloth cape. Can't beat that. Ooh, Josh has been on the hunt for this guy specifically. Yeah, this is a good one. He's a really good figure. I like his uh, Mal Bolger style. Yeah, really good. I'm surprised you can't find him. Like, I, I do not struggle to find McFarlane toys for good money. It's just... I guess it's just time. Like, I've never struggled to... F I've found every toy I've ever wanted. I just have to wait a bit of time. 
but I can get them on card. Usually for pretty cheap. You just have to not buy the buy it now you see on eBay. <laughs> this is cool. I like this guy. Just just a knight really, isn't it? Just a normal knight. Just an innocent knight. Good. Ooh, there's this little variant. Yeah, that's nice. I like him. See, white does work. It's just you've got to get the right toy for it. It looks really good like that. It kind of looks undead. Normal knight be quality, says Honor. Yeah, agreed. Hey, look, there's a twin pack. Ooh, it's a slightly different colorway of that conqueror. Conqueror. Dragon Blade. I feel like normal knight was a slightly better name. Just wet. Look at these weapons. These are just the weapons we looked at. These were just from other toys, right? These are like Wetworks weapons and stuff. Without the helmet, he kind of looks like Lord Arthur from Army of Darkness. Yeah, exactly. It's got that kind of yeah, like that, that vibe, right? I like that. I like the the missing eye. That reminds me. Who does that remind me of? The missing eye and the goatee beard. That reminds me of something. Don't know what. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Ooh, I like this guy. Flamethrower. Delta. Hey, he's Delta Squad. Good lad. Oh, there's a really good zoom in there. High quality stuff. I think you're thinking of Odin a bit. Am I thinking of Odin? Ah, uh, yeah, beard and missing eye. No, I'm thinking of like a well-trimmed goatee beard and like a bionic eye. From like a cartoon. Maybe like a ponytail. It will come to me at about 3 o'clock in the morning. Well after this stream. And I'll have no way of telling you. But I'll think of you when it comes to me. Oh my god, that's Al Simmons. That's an Al Simmons figure. Who would have known? It doesn't look like him in the film or the comic. Forge or Cable from X-Men. Yeah, do you know what? Forge has the beard and the eye and the ponytail. It's possible that I'm thinking of Forge. In the cartoon, he did have that very... He, he had that, that Native American... Like, they, they very... They they really made sure that was clear in the voice. And in my, in my mind, I'm thinking of someone who has a very clear... Like, m much more like white American voice but it could be just a f f that could be a false memory because I could actually just be thinking of Forge I'm, I'm not thinking of Cable because I'd know if I was thinking of Cable he is that's when I was talking about over designed characters he, Cable is the primo example Cable was my favourite comic book character as a kid and I look back and I realise why it's because I had no taste and the reason I like Cable is just Cable was just everything all happening at the same time like he is just all the things, so over-designed, so much going on. And I was like, yeah, I love this. I really love this. I don't have to make any choices. He's psychic and he's got a spear <laughs> and a robot arm and a glowing eye and white hair. Yeah, loved it. Thought he was wicked. So this is cool. Yeah, I like that. I like the knife. That's good. Oh, there's there's another. He just keeps going. Oh well, that one's got. Oh my god, there's so many variants. But that one's got a red tube. Does that imply that's blood going around his going around his pipe? Limited edition owl. Red. Kind of spawnish, right? Kind of like hinting at. Oh, hinting at what's to come. Yeah, I like that. This one looks really good. I like this a lot. Who's she with the wings? See, this this isn't too bad, is it? This isn't too bad. They've not gone like all skimpy. It's just it looks like a swimsuit, so it still looks silly. Because we still have to have an, an inordinate amount of flesh on show. But yeah, we're getting there. I like this cool helmet. That's wicked. Or marinara sauce. Maybe it's a big pipe of marinara sauce. I'd love that. Imagine a big backpack just. Every time you're getting a bit peckish, just have a quick slurp. Oh, this one's even cooler. She's like a crab. That one's that one looks actually like a lady. That looks like an eldritch horror, and I like that a lot more. That's so cool. A really good paint job as well. Mmm, this is a good figure. Asymmetric, classic Todd McFarlane asymmetric design. 
Hmm. Random crab arms. She, she's, yeah, she's a good one. She's going on the list. Good girl. Don't know what that is. Think that's brilliant. Big feet, small arms. He's on the phone. Look. Hello. He's ringing the white BMW. Two o'clock in the morning outside the club. That is, I. There's so much going on there. I. Oh God, it got somehow busier. Oh, it's got like a violator jaw. I didn't even realise that. That's a jaw. And pipes. This is brilliant, right? Claws and big feet and a big jaw and big rocket launchers and big pipes and spikes. And it's yellow and it's red. Yeah, this is fantastic. This is... I don't even know. What even is it? Is it a robot? Is it an alien? It's probably both. A mutant? All three? Ghastly. Oh, there we That's wicked. Todd. <laughs> Todd. It's the series is just called Todd. Todd Todd McFarlane's Monsters. Alright. That looks that looks not very articulated. That looks I like this though. I like the little tree. Is that a baby's head? Wait a second. The Todd McFarlane connection is back. Todd McFarlane kicked a baby. And this here is his confession. Mmm, we've got him. We got him, gang. Yeah, that's nice. I like that Frankenstein. That's good. Oh, I love that even more. Dracula coming out of his little coffin. Honor says, not going to lie, the werewolf looks great. It does look good. So have another quick look at it. So have another quick look. It's a nice looking werewolf. I like this Frank. I like the little eagle. Lots to like about that. Lots to like. Oh, wait a second. Do these all connect up? So the base is all connecting to one big diorama? Because that would be really nice if that was the case I like that I hope he has like a little like a little action rising from the grave uh, I would very much enjoy that oh does anyone seen the uh, last voyage of the Demeter yet by the way speaking of Dracula rising from his grave Todd's Drac is super gnarly says panels to pixels yeah I can kind of tell it's not your not your traditional Dracula, right? I oh, it's also I love that he's got the the like the Bella Lugosi hands. Honor says I still need to see it. It looks fantastic. So I've seen it, and I really enjoyed it. And I think it's going to be one of these films that's not going to be considered fantastic. Uh, but I thought it was really fun. It was a really sort of fun vampire film that just does that whole thing of like it doesn't really make a lot of sense. But like if you're trying to watch a film like that and you're hoping for it to make sense, you're in the wrong place. You're just supposed to be, you're supposed to enjoy the film and it, you know, it has its own little rules for its universe. I enjoyed it. It's good fun. And I think it's going to bomb. It's already gone to streaming. Um, it's got a like, really limited release. And I think it's another case of Universal shooting themselves in the foot for like their own monster franchises. They just keep making them and then like, I don't know, not having the confidence maybe, just not not having the bravery behind it, just to go, yeah, yeah, this exists, it's a vampire film and it's scary and it's cool and it doesn't, it isn't a big universe and it isn't a big franchise, it's just a thing and it's cool. That felt the same way about uh, Dracula Untold, if you've seen that with Luke Evans, same kind of vibe, it's just good, a good fun film, good fun, horror, a J well it is a horror film but it's not like terrifyingly scary, it's like a an enjoyable horror film. If you, if you know what I mean. It's not a film that you're like... It's not gruelling. You're not terrified. You're not looking out from behind a cushion or whatever. You're just like, yeah, wicked. People are getting eaten by a vampire. It's good. It seems like it will slowly gain a cult following over time rather than being popular right away. I think that's it. I think that's, I think that's correct. That's what I would expect as well. I think in general, advertising movies as of late have mostly been lacklustre, which has partially caused a lot of films to bomb this year. It's, a, it's an interesting one because I think it's the world kind of post the MCU, isn't it? I, there are probably other factors in play here, but everybody wanted an MCU or, or a Star Wars or like a mega franchise. And, and I think that's possibly, I don't know, but I think that's possibly why the bigger film studios get nervous because they kind of now want everything to be a franchise or to be franchise possibility. 
and so horror films in particular like small studios like a24 or or uh, like blumhouse can put out a horror film and just have it exist and have it be a thing but when universal or warners or one of these other big companies put out a film i am not sure that they are happy for it just to be a film that that I get the impression that they would like franchise potential all the time. They want to be building a universe, especially with this kind of like complete, like this repeated 20 year attempt to create the dark universe. So just make monster films, it's fine. You already had the opportunity to make the best monster universe, which was when Steven Summers made The Mummy and Van Helsing. You had the opportunity. That was it. You missed the boat and it's fine, just carry on. Anyway, who's this fella ringing the bell? Is this the Hunchback of Notre Dame? Or as Americans say, Notre Dame. That's good, that. I like how he rings the bell with an axe. It's so many reasons that's a terrible thing to ring a bell with. But he's committed to it. Good on him. Yes! I was... I was just thinking about five minutes ago. When are we going to get to the Kiss toys? I know Kiss are in here. Look at this one. So this isn't... Those are figures. Look, they're articulated. But they're on... Do you reckon that stand came with them? Do you reckon each one came with its own letter? I think they did. Look, that's like... Oh my God, you'd buy... <laughs> that's so good. You buy Gene, you get the K. <laughs> buy Peter, you get the I. Imagine if you like... But I just... All I want is a Paul Stanley figure. And I've now just got this S... I don't want to throw it away because it feels wasteful just to throw an S in the bin, but now I've just got an S. Worse yet, what if you just got these two on the end? If you just got Pete... No, wait. Who was it? Ace Freely, Paul Stanley, right? Yeah, there you go. Imagine you just got those two and you've just now got this in your house. Invite your girlfriend's parents. You go around your girlfriend, you, you, you meet a new girl, you go around her house. She's just got these on the telly bracket. You go, what are they? She says, oh, don't worry about that. Anyway. Good fun. I love, what I really love about this is you actually realise that all the sculpting in um, the, the Spawn toys from this era, they just led to Kiss. <laughs> Emil says you'd only end up with KSS because who would want Peter Chris? Hey, come on! The cat is a legit member of KISS. He's the drummer, right? It's, it's legit. He's a, he's a funny cat. He's a, <laughs> You'd have to have him because that's the best thing. They've sold you on it because they've got such that strong brand image. You can't just have a, you can't just have a Gene Simmons and a Paul Stanley. Like You've got to go all in, haven't you? Like if they sold... trying to think of another band right like a less iconic band if they sold blink 182 action figures you could just get tom DeLong, couldn't you you could just have him there what's that that's my it's my travis barker action figure yeah, that'd be fine that'd fly that'd be fine but you couldn't no you've got to get all of kiss you've got to get all four Diego, I've just been popping in and out while at work and I pop into Blink-182. Blink-182 action figures, yeah. Imagine, just, you know, there's, I'm just saying, Diego, Kiss, if you're buying Kiss action figures, you have to buy all four, right? You can't just get one, pointless. If you get two, that's even weirder. You've got to go in, you've got to get them all. Got to get them all. Honor says, I remember seeing that Kiss set up at Emerald City, a local comic store, from a decade ago. Okay, uh... Yeah. Kiss love comics, don't they? They've got their own comic. Psycho Circus. It's an image comic. It's a McFarlane comic. Meow. These are great. So, yeah, the, the, look at these sculpted. These shoes are like the shoes on like medieval spawn. Or there's like a samurai spawn. The chains, the bloody axe. Like, this is just... They're just using what they learned from spawn. And making Kiss. It's like the two brands were made to come together at this point in time. Perfect. I'd buy Blink-182 from the What's My Age Again video. You know Naked ones? You pervert, Diego. Oh, 
Oh, that is a good figure, though. See, it's fine because it doesn't have the K with it. That's when it gets weird. Oh, look at this. That's wicked. The Star Child. Look at these big... That's like... What film is it where they, like, stamp their boot on the ground and a knife comes out the front? What film is that? I think it's in more than one film, but that's that's what he's got there. It's going to be stabbing folks with those. It's going to be killing fools. Nice little... um. Rob Liefeld thigh batarang there. Wild Wild West. That wasn't what I was thinking of, but I bet it happens in Wild Wild West. That's a good one. Yeah, Honor says that Star Trek looks amazing. It does, doesn't it? With the little flappy wings. That's like a Curse of the Spawn. Again, it's just a culmination of everything they've been doing. I'd get the one from first date so they would have excellent moustaches. Says Emil. What about the uh, one where they're like dressed up as? Is that is that the one? Yeah, like the seventies one. That's probably it. That's probably it. That's great. Looks like oh, is the oh, it's even better because it's a rocket launcher. The guitar's a rocket launcher. Grappling hook. That's amazing. Pipes. It's got the marinara pipes. Got he's got his cricket pads. Those are just cricket pads. What are these speakers? Brilliant! I love, I love it. Brushable hair, all of the gimmicks that McFarlane have been getting good at—they're all here, and they're giving him a gun. Absolutely exceptional, Peter Chris. He's got me. He's he's only gone and done it. He's only gone and done it, Peter Chris. See, this, I love this. This is my new theory that like Kiss figures are just—they're just spawn figures, just taking all the conceits of all the other bits. I love how. N They've given him a drum as well. Like the others, like, yeah, yeah, guitar, yeah, yeah. And it turns into a gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they go, oh, what about, what about old Pete? Oh, I just give him one drum. And he can have a stick. What, is that it? We want to give him a full kit? We're not making a full kit. We're not putting that in the packaging. No, just give him... Migardi Gill. Just subbed. Not in the chat, so maybe they just watch one of my kick-ass videos and subscribe because of that. Sweet. Whip, like that. Got a nice whip going on. Gimmick. Oh, oh my God! The, sh the drum fires, the little drumstick, mace thing, and also a spear. And that's quite good. That's quite good. Like having a, like a knife in your, in your forearm, so you can just stab someone. You could hold a knife, and also, yeah, good, good. Didn't Kiss get in many fights? There was no Psycho Circus. I think Psycho Circus was like... 2001? It was on the Dreamcast, wasn't it? And PC. So I feel like it was post-2000. So there's no Psycho Circus in here. But it's wild to me that they're like... Kiss being like reimagined as like medieval warriors with all their weaponry and stuff. It's so funny. Who do you reckon approached who? Did McFarlane want to do Kiss or did Kiss want... I also noticed how they got the hairy chest. Love that. Absolutely love that. Right. That is everything. That is the entire of the uh, Spawn CD-ROM there. Would anyone like to see anything else? We've, we've looked at about 10 series of action figures we've we've read all about spawn when we found out about all the other McFarlane toys we've done it all we've done absolutely everything everything it has to offer so that feels like a pretty good place to end our stream it was little. I mean, it rushed towards the end, didn't it? I'm sorry I didn't give you a heads up, but uh, it feels like a pretty solid place. So, does anybody that have anything else they'd like to see before we finish? Oh, thanks very much, Honor. That's great. I'm glad you had a good time. Ah, it was good fun. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Emil just said he's texted me. The Oh, let's. Do you know what we'll do? Let we'll do. We'll go here, 
And we'll go back to Amazing Todd. Whoa. Okay, so I just want to show you. This is what this is what I've been sent. Oh, there's read more. Oh, it's not it's not a lot more. Right. Are you ready for it? amazing Todd? Let's go do. So we did um, the first page, right? We read out the first page on the screen. So we're going to read all about Amazing Todd. So we read about... Wait. Oh, no, wait. This wasn't Amazing Todd. First of all, we did uh, original comics, right? That's what we were doing. So this was like... Spawn's got many fans around the world and has done many, many comics. Great. Here we go. This is this is descriptions of all the boss. Oh my god, I was actually right. So the first one, the Lieutenant Colonel Al Simmons of the U.S. Marine Forces dies. Oh, Marine Corps dies under mysterious circumstances while carrying out their mission. He makes con he makes a contract with Malabolger, the Demon Lord of Hell and is revived in his own world again, but five years of memories and his appearance are taken away by the Demon Lord. The Demon Lord turned him into a Hellspawn, a soldier of hell, in exchange for one request. So that's, I think, if you rewind, that's pretty much what I guessed. And I said here, he's going to be fighting the Mafia, and, it, and the explanation is, Mafia bosses are being attacked by one by one by Violator, a Spawn supervisor. <laughs> that's really good phrasing. And the murderous cyborg Overkill is sent his way. Chances are that actually is Overkill, not Overt Kill, because I think that would just be silly to translate into Japanese. This contains episodes 4, 5 and 6, including the fierce battle between Spawn and Violator, and the episode when justice is brought to bear by the brutal murderer Billy Kincaid. There he is, Billy Kincaid. I was mentioning earlier, I was like, who was that guy who had an ice cream van and killed those kids? Billy Kincaid. That's who I was trying to think of. Right, so here we go, the bottom one. Spawn was once pushed into a corner by Overkill, but he sneaks into a military facility fully armoured and challenges Overkill to a rematch. This contains episodes 7, 8 and 9, in which the world of hell, as seen by Kincaid, who fell at the hands of Spawn, and the first appearance of Angela, the Celestial Hunter. Mate, this is good. And I know your spelling's fine. Oh, okay, great. So, now what we're going to do, uh, was it here? Where was the, uh, where was the, s Yeah, here we go. This thing, right? Top left. Hell. A world consisting of ten levels. The demon Mal Malevolo, the master of the eight spheres, organises a hellspawn army in preparation for a decisive battle with the heavenly world. They are planning on making Al Simmons their commander. Then heaven. Heaven is a so-called heaven but it's a brutal world filled with conspiracies. In a city named Elysium, an angel army is organized under the Metatron and is preparing for war with Malbolgia. Ooh, there are some naming mistranslations. In hell, Malevolo is supposed to be Malabolgia. Excellent. So this one, Earth. For Al, it is the world where his beloved Wanda lives. Simmons' spawn existence is connected to the homeless people in the back alleys where he takes shelter, as well as NYPD's Inspector Park and the Mafia. <laughs> oh yeah, and this one is then Side Stories, released from January to April. Uh, so then we've, yeah, we've got Wildcats. Is that where we have? Is that was that this one at the bottom here? Was that yeah? Wildcats, the Wildcats. No, that's Violator. The future is near. The Wildcats travel through time with Spawn in order to defeat him, who has become an evil dictator. 
There is also a giant spider near the end. <laughs> That's so good. They just put that. Well, by the way, check this out. There might be like a trigger warning, but also I quite like the idea they're probably just selling on. Hey, mate, there's a big spider at the end. Should give that a read. To beat the uh, Angela and the legendary Amazoness who take on Malabolgia alongside Glory. Malabolgia's boss Lucifer also appears. I like how they're just adding little bits at the bottom here. That's really good. So the one with the spawn Bible. A character directory including the 22 main characters from Spawn. And also including an interview with Greg Capullo who created the illustrations. Ooh, is this... Oh, if this is illustrated by Capullo, I might actually try and get this because that sounds wicked. Curse of Spawn is a, the second regular series that started in September 96, set a thousand years in the future, uh, depicting the desperate struggle of Daniel Lonzo, who becomes the new Spawn. Pretty good. Uh, the true the, Spawn the Impaler, the true identity of Spawn is Marcus Vlad, the real person who was the model for Dracula. Oh, Marquis Vlad, the real person who was the model for Dracula. There, there is a story entirely drawn by paint. So, yeah, it's a it's a fully painted story about Spawn the Impaler, the person who inspired Dracula. Did you know that uh, Dracula was... Well, actually, the story of Dracula was actually inspired by Spawn. Did you know that? Not many people knew that. But Bram Stoker, when he came up with Dracula, he said, yeah, the main thing that inspired me was reading all these Spawn comics. Right, it's time for Amazing Todd. This is the best bit. Right, so... Is this... It's time for Amazing Todd. In October of 1994, the first series of Spawn Ultra Action figures is released in the United States, but the response far exceeded the expectations. The figures, which boast an unimaginable level of detail and perfection, have become a social phenomenon, attracting not only children, but also older comic book fans, who have never had action figures in their hands before. Yeah, so uh, Emil was put here, seems like a bit of a leap to be fair, saying that. Anyway, it became the second hit product after Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, also a bit of a reach, eh? And then thus, McFarlane realised his dream in the field of comics and figures. His next challenge will be in the visual field of movies and TV animation. Both have already been big hits in the United States and are expected to be successful worldwide. <laughs> A man who continues to chase his dreams, Todd McFarlane's challenges are far from over. Now that, now that is an inspirational message that we can all be inspired by. Todd McFarlane's challenges are far from over because he's a man who who never stopped dreaming, never stopped making, never stopped to question why or to doubt himself. He just went out there and became amazing Todd. And you can too. Love it. Right. I am going to call that there because I am really hot. <laughs> and um, we've, we've looked at everything in the Spawn CD-ROM, which I'm very pleased about. Thank you very much, everybody. It's been an absolutely fantastic stream. I've had a wonderful time. Mm. Emil's continuing to post up Todd McFarlane translations, which I'm loving. I'm going to let this last one come in, Emil, and then we're going to end the stream. Um... And then, yeah, what I'll do is I'll hook up with you, and we'll just... I'll, I'll, I'll bang them all together and, um... Post them up. Post, I'll post them up on the YouTube social feed. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Nice little spawn timber treat. Until then, what was your favourite figure? Chat. What's going on? 
What was your favourite figure that you saw tonight? What was your favourite thing that you saw in the Spawn CD run? Diego says, I'm frustrated I couldn't be more present, but I'll be watching the parts I missed in the archives. That's cool, dude. you got a job to do. It's fine. We've got a whole month of Spawn ahead of us. We can't do everything. Emil, so it was no matter how successful the comic was, it was deemed too risky to commercialise Spawn, which had only been around for less than a year and had not been made into a TV, anime or movie. That's that's amazing. In the end, the only thing that took shape was the miniature car, the Spawnmobile, released by Mattel at the end of 1993. Daily Spawn's favourite part was Spawn 3 Swimsuit Edition. Of course it was. Of course it was. Spawn 3 is uh, Daily Spawn Archive's favourite figure. I'm going to be revealing mine um, in a week or so. So stay tuned. Subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notified when my new video comes out. Where I'm releasing the objective, 100% objective, best Spawn figures of all time list. So if you want to see that, if you want to find out what the best Spawn figure of all time is. You need to subscribe, make sure you see that video. And um, yeah. Hey, Emil says, great stream. Lovely to see your face. Daily Spawn says, can't wait. I can't wait to finish the damn video. I've been shooting action figures all week. I've got my got my backdrop up here. You can't see it. It's just out of shot. I've got my lights. Uh, it's crazy. So I'm, I'm, I can't wait to get it all together. And I can't wait for you to see it. But yeah, until then. I'm going to end the stream and I'll leave the chat up for about a minute or so and I'll see you all in a future stream. Nice chatting to you too. See ya later.